Oh my god. Hello, lads. How's everybody doing today? Why well, you just said you wasn't gonna talk in the mic, and here you are trying to give everyone <laughs> ASMR. Let's, let's not let's not do this. Oh man. You know what's so crazy? I, I guess I was so used to hearing I was so used to hearing the way that my voice sounded online that when you I forgot how much of a difference it is. You forgot how you sounded. No, no, no. I forgot. I always knew how I sounded. I always knew it was different. But I forgot I forgot like how much of a gap it was between my actual voice and then the microphone voice. Oh, okay. So I was so when you guys was like, nah, bro, you're 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 freaking me out right now. In my head, I'm like, it can't be that much of a gap. Then Pretty watch gap. Yeah. yeah, I'm watching it back and I'm looking at it, comparing it. Maybe all my takes will go off better sounding like this. Cause you do know that what helps you out a lot is your, your beautiful voice, right? Facts. It's not, it's not because I'm actually right. It's just because my voice is just so convincing. A thousand percent. A thousand yeah. percent. And I need low back up here because he says some BS about Magic Johnson. I was going back and I was going back and watching, not watching, uh, checking like the seasons that Magic Johnson was having in these all-time great seasons. You know there was an eight or nine or ten all-time seasons. It was, well. it was yeah. seven. It was, you did the same thing, right? No, I just knew there wasn't. He was just going with it. I just went with him. Like as he Why said, would you do that? No, Why I mean, would you do no, that? Let me explain. That's let me explain. Great. Wait, wait. Because I left I, me I, No, myself. wait. Okay. Lowe's here. Lowe's here. So you can bring him up. <laughs> but here, here, here's what happened. Lowe said 82 to 91. At first, he was trying to go rookie season. I wasn't letting that slide. Then he said 82 to 91. I disagreed. I was like, I wouldn't start with 82. But he's going with 82 to 91. So let's just say that's 10 years. I disagreed. I never agreed with 82 to 91. But I I would have started from like 84, 85. So that's, so that's where I was at, right? I was looking back. I'm like, I could see from 84 to 90. But you can't You're not say him that. 91. That 91 season was one of the worst seasons of his career. Damn. Hey, scoring wise, wise. scoring wise, no, I mean that's what it was. What it was, the efficiency was up because he started taking more threes and making more threes. But oh, true shooting, nice, true shooting, true shooting. Yeah, 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 true shooting. But his scoring season wasn't that great, and the playoff translation wasn't there for his scoring. The passing and playmaking was always there. So in my head, I'm looking at it. And I'm looking at Magic, and in my head, all right, he has seven. Then I check Kobe. I said, <laughs> Kobe got seven too. Wait, what so seven did you give Kobe? What seven did you give Kobe? The two thousand one. I'm giving him. I that, okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So, so what? What I was doing, and I was in my brain. I was in my head, like, you know what? Let me see. Let me judge this the way Mars and Lowe judges, right? I gave him 01. I gave him 03. 100 percent. I gave him 06. Mm-hmm. 07. Mm-hmm. 08. Mm-hmm. 09. Mm-hmm. In 2010. Mm-hmm. I agree. And I, that was seven. So, Lo, since you are in the chat, you need to come up and explain yourself <laughs> because your logic doesn't make sense to have Magic over Kobe or Tim Duncan. You're about to get Kobe into everyone's top three, aren't you? You know what? You know what it is? I'm tired of it. He, the issue with Kobe is that you have a lot of Kobe fans that don't know how to argue for Kobe. They say stupid stuff like killer will and clutch and da -da. no, he has a real argument. You just got to know which argument to take. And people try to discredit Kobe for having Shaq. You could discredit a lot of people for having their supporting cast. I too. hate when people do that. So much. It's so weird. So in my people just don't know how to argue for Kobe. The accolades, the accolades is there a hundred percent. You can't argue against it. The only thing that's not there is the MVPs, but then everybody Everybody known to man doesn't just be like, oh, just because he won an MVP, he's better. Yeah, some people do that. Some people do. Some that. people do that. Some people, but I don't. I don't like doing that. The dub does Shaq peak higher than Kobe though? That's tough. That's so tough. Well, that's, tough. that's not tough for you. It's tough for me nah. though. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> oh, bro. I need Lo to get up here to get cooked because he... Oh, I see Chota in the building. Salute to you, brother. Appreciate you. 
Uh-oh, he gave the headphones out. He came in real quick. As soon as I said so, he came in real quick. Yo, I had to put the Kobe, the Kobe shirt. Oh, on. that's you why. I actually saying? love that. Like I, I love that. I love that. Man, I'm love the that. biggest Kobe fan out here, man. It don't seem like it, bro. The I'm way the you be talking. Mad, mad yeah, love it. Looks like fan. you're about to get cooked today. I can't lie to you. Mad, massive, massive Kobe <laughs> fan, man. Also, you saying that it's a close peak between Shaq and Kobe is. Come on. Come on, the, the defense moves me. Shaq, okay. Shaq's peak defensively. I'm about to say. Nah, 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 nah. Take him out the paint, it's over. I'm yeah. just saying, bro. I, and what okay. Kobe's is a Kobe, but you know, but you know, is, is but you protector? But, but low, you know me, low. I'm about the bag, man. Oh. I'm about the bag, bro. You know this. You so, know where's this. Kevin? So if, you're, if you're about Hezzy Tween, why? Oh, I got Katie and none. If you're about Hezzy Tween, why is LeBron over Kobe, bro? Because his longevity is insane. But the Hezzy tween. But he was never Hezzy tweening though. Peak, peak wise, I may go with Kobe. I'm not gonna hold you. So what? Kobe gotta be like top two peak for you then. Kobe's top three all time for me. No, peak. Never he gotta peak. be a top two peak. He's still top three, top two peak all time. It, no, it gotta just be one and two. It gotta be MJ and Kobe because that's LeBron, the LeBron, LeBron, and LeBron and uh, Kobe is like. Nah, I'll go. No, with it Kobe. can't be. It can't be. I'm LeBron. taking peak Kobe. I'm okay. taking peak. So Kobe, Kobe is the greatest I'm peak of all time, Kobe. other than MJ. Right. Uh, MJ's different. And okay, so MJ right. didn't even have his between line up. Yeah, he don't need it. He don't need it. He got the mini game, you know. That's enough for me. And uh, and his late package is better better than LeBron's. Y'all, 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 y'all slandering on Wilt, bro. No, no I, oh, time, I'm here for Wilt. Doug, I'm here Doug for Wilt. made this title for you. He was hoping you would show up. Because I'm here for Wilt. I, I, I need you. I need you to. I need you to address. Ob I need objectively you. speaking, that's a bad title. Damn, From a YouTuber's bad. perspective, that's a bad title. Damn, Dub. And he has 300k subs, so you better listen. Okay, my bad. I'll tell I'll tell JD to change the title. It was yeah. his decision. <laughs> That's, crazy. That's crazy. Nah, but low. Did you hear what I said about Magic Johnson? Mm -mm. So what do you have to say to that? My biggest knock on Kobe is that I believe he actively went against his team winning it in situations in his career. It's hard for me to overlook that in terms of Duncan and Magic. Other than 04, what years would you say he was? I think active? he did in 0, well, 06 or 07 when he refused to, stars. you know, he just refused to shoot. Um, and then I think, um, what year was that in 07 to go to 08, like borderline, like just completely being in a locker room, like a negative in the locker room. So it don't matter to you that they have the same uh all time seasons, it doesn't matter to you that the long you said 91 better. wasn't an all time season. I mean, if the guy the play, if the so. guy's playoff trans if the guy Magic Johnson is having one of his worst playoff translating seasons scoring wise, and one of the best worst score seasons he's had like percentage wise, like why would you even consider that all time? Um, uh, because I'm not gauging his value off of his scoring. Like the scoring is cer certainly like a part of it, but that's not how I'm gauging his um his his what you call it. That's crazy. So you're just praising one side of the ball, which is just passing. It's no, crazy. no. I'm, what I'm saying is I'm not going to drop him from an all-time, like his all-time impact because his scoring translation in terms of his efficiency might not have like been where it needed to be. That would be like me criticizing Kobe in 08 because his postseason translation uh, um, efficiency, if I'm not mistaken, might have seen a dip. Or one, one, of, those, one of those later years. Oh, I checked it. Like, I, checked, I checked it. I checked it. Like that's, that's, that would be unfair for me to do that. Like that's – what like, you mean? The efficiency he's had in 08, 07 was relatively the same. You know, he he stayed at the level where he was supposed to be at. Magic Johnson fell off a little bit though. Kobe, and he didn't. Which, he didn't it might, it might, it might not be. It might not be 08. But I, I'm, here? I'm, I don't. Like, I was gonna say 2010, but then he had that series against Phoenix, which would have definitely yeah. boosted it because that's mm -hmm. the greatest series I ever seen Kobe play. So, Let's talk about it, man. Finally got the opportunity to face some weak comp, bro. He plays with one bad defense and obliterates them. Obliterates them. Low, 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 low does this a lot where to the people that he favor, he's just going to stick to whatever small point that he has. But I, I'm not, in my opinion, having Matt. No, I, I've, I've said that as an all time season is kind of weird. No, but, wait, I've, I've said that before about Kobe, where it's like it's kind of hard for me to put Kobe any higher because he was actively a detriment to. um. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what do you about, think the was talking, was wait, wait, hold on, Mars, in 06, hold on, Mars, hold on, Mars, because he was talking about, he was talking about, I'm going to value him for the one side of the ball that he does, which is just pay, play, making, passing. But then that means Tim Duncan has 
more all-time seasons than I don't think Tim Duncan was an all-time defender though after like 08 or 09 or something like that. Whatever season we stopped him off at. We stopped him off because like I think because I think because I think after a while, even the Spurs weren't even like a top five defense anymore. They they started to drop like near closer to 10. Like he did not have that same level of impact that he had before. Magic did in 91. What would what would the Lakers offense say? I don't know. You tell me. I'm pretty sure they were top five. Pretty sure. They I'm were top sure five. Too. I don't have to look it up. I'm pretty sure they were. And what were the Spurs' defense? I think the Spurs, the, the Spurs, no, the Spurs' defense for a very, very long time was like consistently top three, at worst top five. And but then after like 07, 08, it just started to drop like under top five to around closer to ten. When you get to that point, you're you're closer to an a, a league average defense than you are if you're like a top three defense versus like a top eight defense. Like you're the eighth best defense, you're closer to league average, and you I think you probably understand what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. I don't agree with what you're saying, though. You just like you like moving the goalposts for people. That's all. I've yeah. always talked about the impact to a player's team in contrast to like what their team does and the, and the value that they provide to them. You just you just moving the goalposts. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Nigga, get that other mic, bro. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm Yo, are you are you not going to explain to people the will? Yo, he wants you to do it because I'm not gonna lie. I made this title. I made I made this title. I, I mean, listen, if you want to talk how I really want to talk about Will, I could, but if you I want it in respectful terms, I want you and Mars to tell me about Will Chamberlain because I made this title for you two. I'm not gonna lie. You didn't even know Lou was coming up here. I know uh, that's crazy. You just I figured, got lucky. I figured, <laughs> and he put the Batman signal up. He was like, yeah, low, <laughs> low bite on it. He'll bite see, on this it. This is what happens when you actually know how to read people, bro. I knew once, once low seen will. Oh man, I got to get a piece of that. So go ahead, well. It's just the ongoing belief that I think a lot of, um, a lot of old heads do this thing where it's just not consistent. And again, I I just this is on this growing theory that I have, especially the more and more research I do, we're just like y'all didn't watch that much basketball at that time because it wasn't available for you all to watch. And so oh, the God. only thing that you can do is make assessments based off of the box score winning and then narratives that people may have been pushing for several years now. But now that these games are way more available and accessible to people, when I watch Will, some of the overly critical things that people have for today's players. You could easily play that game for Wilt, and it might actually be worse because some of the criticism for Wilt isn't like overly being analyzed. It's like actually very le legit criticism for whatever reason, and I my don't bad, know low, why. My bad, low. Yo, Ash Crow, you could pull up to the stream. I'll make room for you for sure, bro, if you keep talking like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. um, for, for whatever reason, though, and I don't know why, like Wilt has like some of the weirdest, and it, and it kind of sort of started with Mars, he was like, yo, look at Wilt's like playoff translation. And I looked and I was like, oh yeah, this is it's kind of nasty. Then I was like, I ah, maybe Bill Russell tax, but no, it's not Bill Russell tax. It's just it's it's everyone tax. Like he's just for whatever reason, Bill. I mean, Will Chamberlain was like a, a dropper, a postseason dropper. And I start watching games. Unfortunately, entire series are not available, but very pivotal games are available. And like just some of the most oddest things just start to just happen out of nowhere. Like apparently in sixty nine, <laughs> in sixty nine, in the middle of the fourth quarter when they were come, making a comeback, and this is even what they wrote at the time. Like Will Chamberlain apparently allegedly was faking an injury because he didn't want to like be on the floor because allegedly he was afraid to go to the free throw line, so he faked an injury so he could be sidelined during certain possessions. I was like, oh wow, that's interesting. And I watch, and then like, they, I could be mistaken, but it was like a moment where like one side he's like. Rubbing on one knee, and he goes to the other knee. And I'm like, what knee is it? What are we doing right now? What, what, what are we doing? Then the Willis Reed game was really eye-opening. Um, to be fair to Will, he was, he was injured that season, so maybe he was rushed back. I don't know. And the other games in that series, he looked fine. But then in game seven, it's pretty bad. Then when you get further information or watch it a little bit more, you realize that anytime they fouled back in the 70s, they would send him to the free throw line. And so then it would just amount to these egregious games of Wilt having horrible free throw percentages. Um, then there's um the Bill, no, not the not the last Bill Russell game, that's 69. It's another game against Bill Russell where in game seven, bro, Wilt just gets like shut down. Like he was having great games all the way up 
And in game seven, he just had like some of the like some of the worst performances against Bill Russell. And then I'm like, damn, like this is kind of tough, bro. And every time I watch Wilt, it's like it's nowhere near as like as overwhelmingly dominant as like people trying to make it out to be. Now, to be fair, though, a lot of this stuff is later Wilt. It's not early Wilt. So I can put that in for the context. But I think I, the overall is that I think if a lot of especially older people watch the games. I think they'll be overly critical of Wilt the same way they did before, and it'll be more understanding to why people like me do not have Wilt in their top 10. Oh, my bad. Mars, would you like to say anything, or does anybody oh, else? Oh, yeah, I, 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 can, I, I can say something real quick. Um, a lot of what Lowe said, I tried to tell people this, like, the first four months I was on the show. but <laughs> I, <laughs> Nice. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Uh Nice. Um, a lot, a lot of what I, a lot of what Lo just said. Besides the Willis Reed game, I've only just watched that last week. But bef- other than that, I have tried to say a lot of this. The player translation wasn't there. He gets highly overstated offensively, and he gets underrated defensively, in my opinion. But highly overstated offensively. Um, he the player translation was really bad. When he's averaging fifty points a game, people are going to be like, "Oh, look at this Will Chamberlain guy. He's so good." And then of the limited games you can find and this might be real statistical but when you can't find a lot of games from the games you do see the games you can see the stats are there to help you fill in the gaps or things you can't see the stats can help you fill in the gaps that's that's what that's what they are useful for so when i'm watching more chamberlain and i'm oh, seeing oh. Oh, I ain't gonna get you. I ain't gonna cut show off. I ain't gonna cut show off. Oh, we're I'm trying to. Take it, take it, take it. My bad. Take you, it, my bad. I you, thought it was a troll. I thought it was nah, a troll. I ain't gonna but... No, this is a real deal. This is a real deal. Holy <laughs> shit, baby. Hello, <laughs> you <laughs> and Marsh. Make sure you make sure you two hoes ain't tired. Bring your ass tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bring your ass tonight. I'm gonna finish off what we start in Mars. You're a little instigating little bastard in them comment sections. I see you a troll, boy, but that's okay. I'm going to be in them comments again. I got Ray for roaches like you, Mars. Hey, Mars, step off that porch, boy. I'm no, your worst no, no, I'm your worst no. nightmare. I no, pop up like the candy man, boy. I don't want to take a show. I pop up like the candy man, boy. Like I said before, hey, low. And low. That what? was a slick one you tried to pull yesterday. Oh, you I tried pull. to pull D-Low Brown. You tried to pull a D-Low Brown on me yesterday. Oh, you know what? You tried to you tried to catch me and, and tried to expose me for not watching them games back in the day. You a good one, uh, Lo. You a real what? good one, Lo. I just asked guess what? Question. Guess what? No, question. no, 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 no. You are at the God. top of the food chain with this. You are one of the greatest of all time oh at this master God. manipulation. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna start talking about you. He, he and you guys that. are very. That. You guys are very disgusting. Will no still. You guys are sad. Oh, I didn't, that's I dumb. That's I dumb. Didn't, that's I didn't dumb. Like, that's I, didn't like, I didn't like the title. Dumb, I didn't like the you title. Guys, what the you title guys, you guys have zero respect for the like elders. The title, oh, that's man. okay. That's okay. Hey, Doug, remember, your face, you and Mars' face is on this open gym stuff with all this slander to these OGs. Remember, dog, y'all got to move around. These dudes going to recognize y'all when they see y'all. And Who's when they that? see you, keep that same. Who is them? Will is no. dead. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh well, nah, they might not see you, Mars. You hot, Mars. You, yeah, they might not see <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know you stay right there, twenty four hours a day. Hey, Mars, exactly. I doubled, I double dog dare you to bring your ass off that porch. Take your no. ass off, play choice. No. And low, no. I dare you to go to a debate without that damn computer, boy. And I'll tear both of y'all asses up. Now, uh, <laughs> I, you guys, I, have, I, a, I, you guys have a great, you guys have a great show, and make sure you keep enough energy. For the main event coming up next, sucker. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll be in the comments. Don't worry. There we go. That was fun. That was fantastic promo. Fantastic promo. That was amazing. Yes, it was. I want to remind everybody I am working on just getting brand new guests up here. So if you have been here before, sorry, but I do have to get new people up here. Saul, do you have yeah. anything to say, brother? Uh basically the only thing I that I have to say is when Lo was talking about how old heads didn't have like access to the games. Most of their opinions and takes are based off who they like more, and they just like embellish the past and just start lying to um to make their take sound better, i.e. like you know ticket. Mm. No, I think ticket watches the games. I don't think he watched the Vancouver Gri- Grizzlies and was I don't watching. Think he, I, don't I don't think. think I, I don't even. I don't. I doubt there's many games. And you know what's not. crazy for for someone who um talks about Mars and Low using numbers so much. All he does is list off like mm. the box score. <laughs> like he averaged sixteen. He averaged eight. 
Uh, what's his percentage low? What's his percentage low? That's, mm. that's but yeah, that's that's all I have to say is stop embellishing stuff. Stop lying about players. You didn't watch the games. Mm. Um, Dang. That's what we're talking about. I'm not going to lie. When you did bring up the, the, the numbers for like the uh, channels and everything, I was like, wow. I didn't know how much they wasn't really getting basketball like that, which is crazy. No, they weren't. They weren't. It wasn't that but many look, games. Uh, uh, well, we got we got a real OG in the building. Oh, chill, chill. Okay, hello. Uh, oh, chill, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Got the whole crew together. Oh, oh, I think you. I think you echoing. I think you echoing, chill. Oh, Am I bugging? Is it just me? Yeah, nah, chill time. It's chill time. It seems like you're uh, echoing. I think you're playing us in the background too. I didn't chill say anything. Like I didn't say anything. No, no, we can hear we ourselves. Can hear what we say is being paid that. back for your. I think you like lagging. What we say is. Okay, so I, I, hold on. So, all right. So let me let, let me. Okay, hold so on. I, I, hold on. So this is what I'll do. Yeah, I'm, I muted you for a second. <laughs> w technical difficulties. Yes, sir. Hold on. You want some? Hey, hold on. You want some too? Right there on on the, on the on my on my left hand on my right hand left hand side down here at the bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh I heard you wait until I leave to talk. Now I know you are you a super wait, you, don't you are, Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you are super. I don't know who you are. I've never heard of you. So oh, you might have to get your weight up before you talk with the big dog. I don't even know why Dub and let y'all on the court. I wouldn't let you guys on the court. Like I said before, if you ain't if you ain't out here averaging twenty, you can't get on the court, dog. This it shouldn't be open court. This shouldn't be open court for bombs. Period. So and like, hold on. And like, dude said. First of all, I'm gonna say this to you, dog. You you can't say somebody didn't do something that you don't know, bro. Literally, when you're a professional basketball player, all you do is watch games, bro. Let me tell y'all one thing before I go. All of these games we used to watch. Big country Brian Reese because we had actual debates about them, whether or not. Hold on. We had the. He got an echo. Yeah, we had yeah, debate. Yeah, you still got an echo. Look, Joe, you still got an echo, brother. We got a debate. <laughs> Still over here looking like no Uncle Ben. Look, we got a look. We had a debate, right? So we had look. We had debates over Big Country when he came in the league because a lot of people thought he was going to be a bust coming out of college. You guys remember he was dominant in Oklahoma. He did his thing when he came to the league. A lot of people thought he was going to be a bust. He was playing. We used to watch those games, bro. Bro, they had a solid squad back then, bro. Bro, do y'all not remember uh, those years that Mike Bibby was on that team with him? You don't remember when uh back when um what's old boy's name? Um uh Abdul uh Sharif Abdul uh, Rahim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, them niggas them niggas had a solid squad, bro. Bro, okay. Vancouver oh, oh. was one of those teams. Vancouver was one of those teams we looked at. We before hold on, we go any further. Before, before, before you go any further, ticket, my man, you talking about people embellishing, you got some nerve talking about people embellishing. You just got access to games. So ten years ago, that's not true. We talking about that. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean? I'm talking about. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about you, ticket. I'm talking about this dude here. Talking about you lying about players. No, we not lying about players. That is not true. I didn't think I. I didn't mention. I didn't mention you. I didn't want to mention him because you scared of that smoke. But he know what I'm. I didn't say that. We both came up. We both came up in this same light. And let me say something to you. We all. The one thing about our generation is we really love the game. So we really, we really was in tune to that. So when I, when Low asked me, "Yo, did you watch them games, bro?" Listen, not only did we look forward to all the TV games that came on. If you were in big cities and local games, they would play those games too. But the TV games that came on on Sunday, those were double and triple headers. Sometimes, sometimes you come from twelve o'clock all the way to night. We watching games, so you watching like six different teams every Sunday. So because they would put all those games on NBC, they'll have double and triple headers. I know that. What you call? Remember that Marv Albert. And I think the czar was doing those games. So we all remember that, right? These are facts. So when you look at those games, along with, at that time, now Lowe should know this too, they used to, at that time, on, when, uh, like in the it late, right, I was, it was right, early, in the 2000s. It was right before the playoffs they would start doing that too, Lowe. Yeah, but in the, right. Before right the but in, they weren't right. doing it all season. They weren't doing it all season, but it was like right before the playoffs. They started right. like late February, early March, right. where they had triple headers on NBC. Yes. He is right yes. about that. But, but right, but also, you got to understand this. When the YouTube era kicked off, like, when I was first going overseas, bro, we would have arguments about big country Brian Reeves. Like, people would say he was a bust, this, that, and third. We would have – so, literally, we was watching, like, full game tapes because they would come – they would put the videos on YouTube at that time. when you Just back when YouTube was first, like, really starting to, like, jump before, like, when everybody was getting a lot of views before they started doing the algorithms and all that other stuff years later. 
this is when guys could just go to YouTube and it wasn't really that popular and have like really a lot of content creators on it. It just had dudes uploading videos and games and stuff like that. So you could go see that. What happened was when the when the sweep, when the new generation came around and the NBA started doing all this uh, global stuff and doing all this stuff online, what they did was is they went and they, 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 they froze all those videos and snatched all those videos from the content creators because they had ownership of those uh, of that content. That's why you don't see so many games that you saw. 10 to 12 years ago on YouTube. Now those full games, you could go watch all those full games because it was always people that had channels that was uploading those games all the time. That's what I was telling Lo the other day. We used to watch it all the time. We used to watch to it all the time. A, to give you, a, to give you an idea how good big country was, Shaq will tell you how much of a problem. Thank you. Hey, 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 hold on. Chill town, chill town, please. It, these dudes sitting up here acting like big country couldn't play in this era. Bro, they don't, they don't understand what big country game was. Big Shaq country had a money, had a big country had a money mid range game. He now was nice about the ball. He could pass. Low, low yes. talking about something he, he couldn't fit play. in there because he couldn't shoot the three. Are you crazy? He would that's be not. That's not what I said. What did yes, you, you say, did say that. I said, I said, I said that he would be he would be a massive problem defensively because when they space out the floor in today's game, you mm -hmm. have to step all the way to the three point line. I'm gonna rewind that line. And if you're not, and if you're not, and if you're not, if you're not well, I, I talk, spoke about his three because he wasn't providing enough offensively. Right. And so if you weren't providing enough offensively, you're gonna have to be in very, very, very limited minutes. No, 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 no. You're not hearing me. Hold, hold on, hold on. That was then. I'm saying now. Hold on, hold on, Jabroni. You ain't, you ain't see, you ain't, you, you ain't see four classified. Hold on. I would like to see what Hold on, what I'm saying is, hold on, low, low. What I'm saying is now, low, is this. You got to understand one thing, low. Bro, we, they come to see us, not you. Uh, uh, so you wipe it, wipe the doodle -doo stains off your off your face, or, or stand out while the big dogs are playing. Now hold on, back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying. To low, low. What I'm saying to you is this, bro. We talking about in the era today. Chill town, notice. That's why I be hating when y'all had these debates and y'all don't have dudes that was old enough to see these type of players, bro. Bro, a dude like Big Country Reeves with the game he had then, it would have been easier to expand his game offensively because remember. Jokic didn't come in the league doing all that stuff he's doing now offensively. Jokic came in the league sort of like Big Country came in the league. He didn't come in the league tearing up. What did Jokic average first year in the league? What did he average his second year in the league? He went coming here putting up 20 and 10. Big Country Reeves was putting up like 16, two years in a row. And that was in an era where it wasn't easy to put up no 28, 29 points, 27 points. If you was putting up 20 and 10 as a big man, you was a sick considered great back then. Am I lying, Chill Town? If you was putting up 20 and 10 as a big man, you was considered a great big man back in that era, bro. And that's a fact. I think the biggest problem that we had, Doug, when you talked about Chamberlain, was what Chamberlain did early, right? So what he did early on in his career and when he started to change his game, it made him look like a playoff dropper when in reality he just changed his game. I mean, Chamberlain averaged 35 and 25 in the playoffs for five straight years, and that just didn't work. It didn't translate to winning. So then Chamberlain moves his game and he starts passing the ball more. Not only does he pass the ball, he starts to take a lesser role. I mean, in the 69 finals, Jerry West averaged 27 shots a game. Chamberlain averaged eight shots a game in that series. This is a dude who was averaging 35 a game in his first five years in the playoffs, and he changed his game. I mean, in game seven of the NBA finals in 69, Chamberlain went nine for 10. If you got a dude that that's that good, that's going nine for 10 from the floor, why isn't he shooting the basketball more? Well, the reason why he's not shooting that. Well, the reason why he isn't shooting the basketball more is because he wasn't involved in the offense like that. That would be Jerry West. I mean, again, we're talking about the entire series where Jerry West averaged Mars. He averaged 27 shots a game. He was not getting Chamberlain involved in the offense like he should have. When you got a dominant big man like that, you should be involving him in the offense more. Jerry West was the ball handler. Jerry West was, was the primary distributor at that time. Why he wasn't involving him more doesn't make any sense to me because you saw what happened with the Lakers in 2000. As good as Kobe Bryant was, as good as all of those other guys were, they damn sure were involved in Shaq in the, in the offense. It wasn't like Shaq was taking the ball off the backboard and going with it every time and creating his offense all the time. Low, that's not what was going on. We all know that that's not what was going on. They were running the offense through him. That's a that's fact. Hey, hey, chill. I want you to clear one more thing, cause, cause Dub, I think I don't know. I don't think Dub said this, but I know damn sure D'Lo Brown up there was saying this. Uh, uh, low. He now low yesterday was this was real nasty from him. We talked about this thing with Steph Curry, and I told him back in that era when you bro when they had when you were scouting players, you had great coaches like who were the coaches in the league then? Great coaches: Pat Riley, Ru Rudy Mike Top Jonathan, Mike Fratello. You know 
Mike Fratello, the czar. You also had uh, over there, you had, you had Larry Brown, Phil mm -hmm. Jackson. All these coaches we were talking about are legendary great coaches pretty much for the most part that we had. Uh, Lionel Hollins. All these dudes are coaching in the league, right? So Correct. think about this. How did these dudes coach? They coached towards, okay, for example, if you had a guy that played like Steph played, I told them that Steph wouldn't be doing what he's doing now because in a game like that against Steph, the coach would have players pressing him full court. That would be a game where your guard would be assigned to pick Curry up full court. Then when he came across half court, they trapping his ass off screens. They're coming up off there. They're not just letting him come down, do the just shimmy, pull up from 50, and walk back down the court like it ain't nothing. I told Lo this, that that's how they were planning every night for guys who could actually – uh, shoot from the perimeter or was a threat of uh, uh, that type of game. Now, it wasn't happening in every single game because guys like Mark Jackson, who was running the point, his game wasn't like that. But if your game was like that and you can come down and pull up and hit the three ball the night, bro, the coaches back then, they paid attention to detail. They actually took the regular season serious as far as defense. That's why the games were 96 to 90 or, or 89 to, to, to 93. Just like that, because if you watch, it was more attention to detail. The game was slowed down, and that style that Curry and them play wouldn't be the same way. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. When y'all try to compare errors and stuff like that, you have to look at Jokic now and say, what he's doing now would be dumbed down then. And what, what Big Country Reeves did then would be turned up now because Big Country Reeves would have more space. He would have more space. He would he he he, yeah, he would have let low go up he, he would have better up. players. No, low, and that's what I'm saying to low. So that Steph Curry shit you was talking yesterday, put that in your pipe and put it in the air, low. Spacing doesn't automatically make you a better player. Can we, what are you me, talking let me, about? Let me let me say this real quick. No defense. Hold on. No hold on. What's, no defense. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me step on this bump. This bump shouldn't have said nothing to me. <laughs> this bum should never say nothing to me. Let, let, let low get this hold on, hold on. Scrub says so. Hold on, hold on. We're going to rebuttal. We're going to rebuttal. We're going to forget about you. We're going to go back. I'll save it for you. I want, I want to be clear. I never, ever, 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 ever. Okay, you never said it. Say arguments based off of hypotheticals about if a player plays on one era or another. I've never made that's never a sound argument to me. And every time you bring up that argument, I always tell you, I don't know. We can make suggestions about what would happen, but I'm not making an argument off of what how great someone is based off of if they could play in this era or that. Okay, you, Jokic, an all time better you, playmaker. You, 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 don't say that. You, don't you do that. that. I can say whatever I want. What <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that then. Because the argument that is being made is all <laughs> relative. It's right. relative. No, no, it's no, I, I got you. No, no problem. Oh, no, you okay. pimp the program. It's cool. You pimp the basketball program, and that's cool. That's what our coach used to tell us when we came into practice low and we was bull jabbing and came late or we was practicing. Oh, first of all, this oh, you dude being, right you, 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 you half assing it. That's what you're doing right now, low. Low's half. He's pimping the program, chill town. Real, real, real quick, real quick. My man said. More spacing does not make you a better player. Okay, just so you know, that might be the worst thing that I've heard all day today. That's like telling a running back, you know, you are not a better running back if the hole isn't that big. What are you talking about? That's if you got bigger thing. holes, to, if you got bigger holes to run through, you're going to be a better running back because you got more space. That's which means that if I'm an offensive player, I am going to be a better offensive player because I have more space to operate. How can you say something like that? That's not what I'm saying, Chill. That's clean. exactly what you just said. So clean it up. So I'm clear. Most of the time when people talk about like a, a player from the mid 2000s or something that like that, say Allen Iverson, they assume he would just be like an astronomically better player because there's a lot more spacing in today's game when he just he wouldn't like be better. He would probably put up better production in terms of like assists and scoring because he has more. Wouldn't space that make him operate. better? Wouldn't that make him better? No, that wouldn't make him better. Like, why it wouldn't it make him better if he's producing more? That per, wouldn't that make him better? That, the same way that like straight up production doesn't like numbers doesn't make you a better player. Um, I don't think that um, like I don't think having space around you necessarily increases the level of player you are. So okay, why doesn't it? So if that's true, then why doesn't it make you a better player? What do you mean? Like you would still have the same impact on your team, but if your team has better, if your team has better spacing, you have more opportunities to um like create a look like let's say lebron is playing with shooters 
that are um, not good, uh, like it doesn't necessarily make him a worse passer. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. No, so, no, 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 no. This is the reason why. This is the reason. Bro, when you bring, when you bring, no, no, hold on, no, no. I got a lot of love. Hold on, I got love for you. A lot of love for Low. Even even that little punk got a lot of love for Mars because at least he put in the time. He tried. Low. Y'all got to stop dumbing down the show and bringing in jabronis like this guy. Oh bro, this is what absolutely is embarrassing. Say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is embarrassing, man. This man, okay. you played a game of basketball to get better space and to get better shots. That makes players better. If a player gets a, a wide open shot, your percentage is probably going to be better than it is on a contested shot, sir. That is that is generally the, the consensus. So, for example, uh, so for example, right, right, right. For example, that's why we say if Michael Jordan were to play in this era where there were more spacing, he would still be less, Michael Jordan. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Less physicality. Hold on. Less physicality. It was easier to get the whistle with a referee. The way that Michael attacked the hold on. The way that Mike attacked the rack, there would be nobody to be able to stop him because now he's not going and getting slammed to the ground. He's not going and getting contested at the basket like he would have. Back in the day, where everybody's just trying to just clothesline you and tear you down. See, now it's a different game. Now the game is more wide open. That's why you have certain levels of players who look a certain way when they play in college versus the pros, sir. That's why you see players in the college level. Sometimes their game don't open up, but when they get to the pros, they explode because it's more spacing. The court is more, and, and you're able to you're able to operate and play your game, sir. Sorry, you don't know basketball. You failed. You failed to the game. His box score might look better, but his impact overall wouldn't like be better just because he has better floor spacing. That doesn't make any. You sense. failed the class. You, you, you failed. You, you the what, class, what, 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 This is what the question mean, that I'm asking you. This is Durant the this is the question. Player on the Warriors because he had more spacing. That doesn't. Yes. Make any sense. Oh my yes. god. Yes. Yes. Uh, those, uh, those are literally uh, his uh, best uh, years. Uh, those are literally his best years, bro. I think I think you guys are misunderstanding what he's saying. No, I don't say no. I think you guys are misunderstanding what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. Just because he had better but, spacing in listen, on Mars. Warriors didn't make him a better player. <laughs> Actually, it did. You know why? Because he was getting the same shots with the Golden State Warriors that he was getting in Oklahoma City, only except he had one guy hanging on him as except as opposed to two and three guys because the floor was shrunk. And the reason why the floor was shrunk, I'm not finished. Though. The reason why the floor was shrunk, because he didn't have the guys who spaced the floor in Oklahoma City like he had the guys who spaced the floor in Golden State. So no one's gonna can, come can, 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 I, can, I, can I can I can I can I talk now? Go ahead. Mars, I, I, um, and I think your name's Saul. Correct me if I'm misrepresenting what you're saying. I think I think what he's saying is having more space can make your life easier. For example, Allen Iverson, it will be Correct. easier for him to get to the rim, easier for him to find teammates. But his skill set hasn't inherently improved. And he hasn't just impact. become he hasn't just become a better outside shooter because there's more space. Right. Exactly. It's made it easier for him to make outside shots because maybe they're more open, but his skill set hasn't just become magically better. That's right. the but argument Mark, he's making. That's how you I'm not set, saying I, okay, go on. No, no, I, I, Mars, what you're saying is okay, what you're saying is understandable, but then it's not because if you if you would take a player who's being harassed a lot and still and get still giving you 30 to 33 a night. Then you take that defense, you lax it and open the court and give him more spacing, better shooting, which is in this era, guys. Y'all always say these guys can shoot the ball better, more skill. Bro, that enhances not only his game, but his legacy. That is what oh that's done for a guy like James. Hold on. That is what that's done for a guy like James Harden. The fact that James Harden has had all these shooters his career, all these great players around him, all his spacing, that makes his career greater. Because if you put James Harden in the same situations you had AI in, guess what? All of a sudden, all those step back threes that James Harden was getting fouls on, and he was getting the benefit of the doubt on the whistle, he was shooting bricks from going to the free throw. He doesn't get that no more. All that I, stuff is out. So, so take, that I, I, him so, down. So I'll say this last point, and then I, I gotta get somebody. I gotta let Ash right. get some love. I, 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 I just got one, I, I, I one, 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 one question. One question hey. for my man. One yeah. question for my man, real quick. So, like you just said, spacing doesn't make you that much better. So, if we shrink the floor, if we shrink the floor, do you think Steph Curry would be as effective as he is now? I don't know what you mean. I think that Curry like creates like a lot of space just he, just being if, Curry. So I, even even though he sh even though he shoots the basketball the way he does, even if the floor shrunk, even if we shrank the floor and he doesn't have the spacing that he has now, where the floor is wide open, where you got to 
get involved with Clay Thompson. You got to get involved with other long ball shooters. And he doesn't have that, which means the floor, sh the floor is, sh is, is shrinking. Do you think he is nearly as effective as he is now? I don't, I don't understand the question. I don't, what, 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 uh, uh, duh, duh. See, this is what I'm talking about. Duh, duh. This is why I get mad on the player's choice, bro. This is why I get mad. That man just asked him. Hold on. Phil just asked him. The easiest question on the mankind. Ticket, ticket, ticket is fine. It's fine. I hear you, brother. I hear you, brother. I just wanted to. I just want to say this last thing. I I agree with uh, which uh, my fault. I agree with what's his name. Ticket to a certain degree. Like yes, um, maybe Iverson would be putting up better numbers. Uh, and Harden, he did benefit off of like the spacing and stuff like that. But I don't think that um, like James Harden's impact on the game changed just because he had a bunch of shooters around him. Like he fits well in a bunch of systems and is a good player. Regardless. Oh, have mercy, dog. Lord, have mercy, dog. And, uh, yeah, so, and on so. the Allen Iverson, and on the Allen Iverson thing, um, yeah, he might have gotten like better box score numbers in terms of like points and assists. But again, I don't think just because you have a, a teammate who can make an open shot makes you like so, 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 hold on. Ticket, so, you're gonna so, lose you, ticket. Stop ticket because you're gonna lose brain cells. Stop. I'm, I'm, done. Done. I'm, so, 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 good. I'm good, Joe. I'm so, good. so you I'm, be I'm safe, straight. brother. You be safe. Ash, I, I seen I seen Ash in the comments earlier, bro. So I had to get him up here. I love people who uh like talking in the comments. So appreciate you, brother, for taking the time. Appreciate Saul for taking the time too, bro. But uh what you gotta say, my guy? So 1960s Will Chamberlain in 1962, he averaged 50 points per game. And there was double hand checking back then. Plus, the game was just a lot more physical. But uh, there was an offensive foul where if you put your shoulder into an opponent, into a defensive opponent, that would be considered an offensive foul. And Shaq did that's the same thing during too. his prime. And that's an offensive foul today, too. Shaq mainly did that in his prime. Right. And they didn't. They didn't really like call it like that back yes, then. Yes, they did. Yes, uh, they the did. 2000s. They just didn't call it all the time. But he got but away with it a lot more. He got away with it a lot more. more. But they did call it on him. Though. But that's not, that's not true. there was a lot more restrictive in the '60s. And Wait, so said my it's more point physical. is, why are you talking if, about the foul calls that Lord's getting against him? Because that would, that would because physical. because because that because that since you have to uh, rely since you're since since you're not relying on on like your physical prowess in the sixties to, you know, shoulder someone with your, with your shoulder, you are forced to like be more skillful. So that's why Wilt didn't rely okay, but, much but do on you, do you his uh, physical you prowess. And he was being more, and he was being more skillful where, where he was doing fadeaways and stuff like that. He, he wasn't dunking on people all the time okay. because he was. Wait, okay. Can I, can I, do you understand how you're contradicting yourself by saying those yes, things? Yes, that's what you're doing. You, you said the 1960s stuff. was more physical and then you just said they didn't allow Will Chamberlain to be physical. So is it more physical or not? That's just why, I, that's the first question. It was, it, 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 it was physical back then. So but then they why, made but rules for so it was more physical to, to defensively, him. but not offensively. Is that what so you're who's, saying? So whose logic doesn't make sense? Pretty much, yeah. But my, but what I was getting at is, so he he scored fifty points in that season, and mm -hmm. if he were to score fifty points in a in a less defensive era, in this era, which would be more impressive? But okay, the reason the reason he scored fifty points is because of how many possessions they were playing per game. The game is faster then. If more possessions means more opportunities to score. If you have less opportunities to score, you score less points. That's why the two thousands. That's why players averaging over 30 was a lot more rare in the early 2000s, late 90s, because teams were averaging like 94 points a game. In the, in the 60s and even today, teams are averaging well over 110. That would give you more opportunities to score. So 50 doesn't equal 50 then as it would today. 50 in 2002 is different to 50 in 1962. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, and I understand the different uh, the paces of the, of the different eras too. And I know that the 1960s was the fastest era, but they were, even though they were the fastest era, they were running in. Bro, these motherfuckers were like 
running in Chuck Taylor's back and forth. And it, no, it okay, was a see, now we turn it now, now we turn yeah, it yeah, in. That's, that's, but that's not now, relevant. Now, now we turn it into something about. completely different. That's okay, the abuse first, I'm talking about, Dub. This is this is the type of stuff that y'all running over here, and why I be turned up. You see this? You see this stuff, Chill Town? This is hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the first said first said player's choice logic doesn't it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, Y'all push this narrative. You and the legend of losing is up here. With a title that says Will ain't so still Chamberlain. Dub did and, this and then you bring all Dub these, the you bring, That's what you bring That's all it. these fried brain buffoons up here to say the most stupidest stuff known to mankind. And then guess what? When we say stuff that's normal, that makes sense, they run around and say, we don't know basketball. It's a damn shame. Lo, I, I, you a part of this, Lo? Lo, you a part of this, Lo? Go ahead, Lo. I, I didn't come here to, to raise, the, your, to the, raise the, your, your player's choice. I, I, I apologize, fellas. No, 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 no. Oh, we're having a great time. No, 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 we're having a great time. This is amazing. This is this is. Hold on, Ben. I don't see Lo in all kind of debate. I don't see Lo getting all kind of arguments, debates over the years with cats. And he gonna come up in here and let Jabroni say stuff like this, and Lowe just sitting back killing. Hey, but if I say something, if I hold on, hold on. If I say something, Lowe's energy's on hundred. If I say something, give me one second, ticket. I want Lowe to say something. First of all, this ain't my show, but secondly, no, 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 no. Keep the same energy, Lowe. Keep the same energy. No, 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 no,
when old boy went to um uh I can't remember his name. Another guy went to another team back in the day. I can't remember his name. His name slipped from my tongue. But you, it was that was not a n normal thing that you saw. So what we saying when we when we talking about legacies, a lot of the legacies you judge are based off winning. And I'm saying to you, okay, look, no, it's let's not. give Curry. Okay. Hold on. This, no, okay, no, so no, okay. no, 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 no. So, take okay. it, take it. Hold on, hold on. Wait, take it. I want to say it. something. So where you got Bradley? Hold on. So where you got? So Bradley Bill Hall is thirty like two years in the league. Where you got him at? Where you, you got Bradley Bill right? Using the wrong guy. You're using the wrong. No, guy. no, no, no. Where you got Bradley Bill? No, I got the right guy. No, I got the right guy. Where Bradley Bill? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because wait, hold on, hold on, Doug. Where do you guys rank Bradley Bill? Wait, hold on, hold on. Where do you rank Bradley Bill? Average thirty a couple years in the league, right? Listen, listen. I think you're correct. I think you're correct. You're just picking the wrong argument. Hold on, but where do you hold on. Hold, hold on? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me stay Doug, take it, take I want to ask you one question, Doug. Take Doug, take what did Bradley Beal average for three years please. in the league? This is me and Mars' show, right? Let me say this real quick. All right? That's right. Low, low. So low. This is my thing where I think Ticket is right. I think Ticket is right in the sense of I think portability across errors is something that's important. I, I really do believe that. And since you're a guy who ranks relative to what you did in your own era, which is fine, I can respect that, but you don't show that same type of consistency with John Stockton. With John Stockton, you bring numerous times of, oh, the guys and what they do is just better. They're playmaking. They're making the more difficult passes because it's better because of this generation. So you discount John Stockton for that. Because of this you generation? Keep her I never That's, I've I've seen so numerous so, so times so you talking about what so have, 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 have you said have you said have you said have you said yes or no degree of difficulty in the way yeah, that degree of difficulty correct? yes okay so and then I've heard you numerous I've heard you countless times the guys and what they're passing now they're just doing because they're better you said because they're just better because of what well, how many, where how, we're at. About how many you, you've do, done it before no, 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 you've no, done no, it before. not not because of where we're at because I have Magic Johnson ahead of him I have Larry Bird in my top um five or seven as passes as well and they both played before John Stockton and then in terms of um um what ticket just sat there and said uh no I'm not making my my assessments of players is not heavily predicated on winning that's not it. Ticket. Oh yeah, I know he's wrong. I yeah, know he's wrong with you're, that. You're all, completely all, all I'm saying, on all that. I'm saying, all I'm saying is you just don't keep that same. If you compare in relative to Aaron what John Stockton did in his era, and you're a fan of production too, it just doesn't make sense to me how low because there were because there were because there were other because, because there were other players in that era when you watch it who are who are actually penetrating to the paint, who are actually collapsing defenses, who are actually finding, who are actually doing more playmaking than John Stockton. It wasn't everybody just standing at the top of the key because Magic did that. Penny Hardaway did that. Tim Hardaway did that. Um, um, Mark Price did that. There were several players who used to do that. It's not like everybody. Hey, where you, where you, you got Bradley Beal ranked at, dog? Right? Okay, where, so you that, where you got DeRozan ranked at? No, oh, my God. DeRozan oh, been out here putting yeah. up. DeRozan, no. but DeRozan oh, been putting up 25. Yeah. DeRozan, yeah. DeRozan, DeRozan been putting up 25 again yeah. yeah. game for like almost eight years now, bro. Where you got him ranked at? So, so this is so this is the problem with the other argument. I'm not making assessments off of players solely based off of their scoring production. I'm looking at other aspects, ticket, because there's other players. Well, you did who that all for Kareem. Talk, we're talking about the best scores, yeah, Dub. Um, yeah, you did that for Kareem. Yeah, yeah, hey, Dub, don't take no, the pressure no, off this. Yeah, Dub, Dub, Dub. When we're no, talking, no, about, no, it's, no, it's no, a no, lot. No, it's no, just no, a no, lot no, of flip flopping, bro. It's just flip flopping action. When we talk about scoring, yes, I'm going to talk about scoring. But we talk about all around player. Then I've, I've never limited my conversation. About but when you just talk about, about passing, yeah. why is it that for scoring you're talking about production? For passing, it can't be production. It is it's both. What he's on? Ah, so John Stockton. He's he's he's, at, he's asking, having thirteen assists. Is crazy. He's, at, he's asking me about where I ranked him as a player, not as a scorer. Keep up, Dub. Because I'll body with you. No, 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 low, no, low. You're not bodying well, everybody. Right now. You get a cook. You get a cook. The, 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 the conversation. The conversation was about. Who's a, where do I rank him as a player, not as a scorer? So as a player, I'm not but just you, looking at scoring. But, but what did I ask you? Also, I asked also, you about the scoring, and I was like, scoring. Ooh. You talk about production. You mattered. But so the all of these things, passing, all of these things matter. tie in. When you when you rank somebody as a player, don't all of these things tie in? Yeah, okay, I'm I'm about to get they to the should. point. So okay, I'm listening. Of, in terms of Bradley Beal, yes, as a score, he was up there. But being a top a top tier score, especially when you're roughly a league average efficiency, is not going to move the needle enough for me. When there's players who may only average three to four points fewer than them on noticeably better efficiency, who's also playing better defense, who are also better facilitators, who also can operate on and off the ball better than you, who also has the playoff translation. I'm not stupid. It's you're not lying, like, bro. You're lying, sir. Not. I'm not. <laughs> no, here's why you're lying. Hold on. Here's why you're lying. Here's why you're lying. 
You keep talking about efficiency with Bradley Beal. You talk about this, but you're not saying that Bradley Beal didn't wasn't afforded the same teammates as Steph Curry was, sir. Because before Steph Curry started getting those teammates, what was Steph Curry's efficiency, sir? Before he went and got to be mortal, before he got to be it was still fantastic. That's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Use, it, no, use a different example, ticket. Use a different example. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm going to ask you one question. I'm going to ask you one question, Lo. So you said, hold on. So, Lo, you have, hold on. Hey, Chief, I'm going to ask y'all two this, Mars and Doug. Y'all think Steph Curry, y'all think Steph Curry would be the same? You think you would consider him the same type of player had he would have played with the same teammates that Bradley Beal did throughout his career? Ticket, ticket. Nobody would consider that. Hey, can I answer that question? Hey, I, I, I'm going to answer, but can I, can I, I ask, can I ask wait, a question wait, wait, after wait, wait, I answer wait, wait, it as well? Yeah. So, no, I don't I don't think he'd be viewed in the same light. And then my question to you is, why are so many of your arguments based on ifs? No, I'm not saying if, no, because you guys degrade certain dudes. But if you look at their teammates, hold on, hold on. If you look at their teammates, they didn't have the same teammates as other dudes to make them as efficient. So, listen, if your teammates are better, oh. guess what? You hold on. If your teammates are better, you're inclined to play a more efficient game because you're going to get more open oh. shots, better opportunities. Versus if you're not playing with guys who are such efficient, and I'm going to give you a perfect example. This is Richard Jefferson and game. Paul Pierce went to it the other day. Paul Pierce, he, uh, he said, look, look at my teammates. That's why I wasn't such efficient at that time. And if you looked at the box score and looked at the teammates he had on his team, he didn't have much help, so the defense was really clogging on him. All I'm saying to you is this. Steph Curry was a completely different player, and they had good talent around him before Steph got drafted and came, before uh, excuse me, before Clay got drafted and came, and before Dre and all those other dudes went over there, Iggy and all those other dudes, uh, 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 Monte Ellis, uh, and all those cats. He was a he was he was not the same. He was a good player before Mark Jackson, but he was not the same player and until until those other guys. Was at that level and came at it. So this is what I'm saying. So we say the same thing about Bradley Beal. And, and listen, here's another no, example. No, no, we're not. Another no, we're not. Andrew Wiggins. Hold on, Andrew Wiggins. We looked at Andrew Wiggins, even though Wiggins was putting up like 20 per game for his career almost. We looked at him in a different light until he played in a championship roster. Then after last year, everybody looked at him and his legacy and at him as a player differently, all because of the players he played with. Stop playing with. Let Lo respond. Yeah, ticket. That's you are conflating so many different arguments and acting as if like I've ever said it. So let me answer the first question. And by the time Curry was in his second season in the NBA, second, he was already 6% higher in terms of scoring efficiency. And that was in his second season. He was already over overtly more efficient than Bradley Bill has ever been at any point in his career, especially in years when he was averaging over 30. So no, that's wrong. And that's in his second season. So that's A. B, in terms of what he was doing leading up before Klay Thompson and them got to where they were, because it's not like Draymond. Draymond, when he got on the team, was still coming off the bench for several seasons. By the time we got to 2014, it was really Bogut was there, and Bogut was in and out of the lineup. David Lee was there, and then Klay Thompson might have been um, second the or reason, third. The reason, why third Draymond, the reason why Draymond got, got the job because uh, Lee got hurt. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So he wasn't. So Draymond wasn't there. So I know. <laughs> so I know what Curry looks like as a volume score leading a team before all of that occurred. I know what he looks like, and it's still historically great efficiency. So it's not the same ticket. And on top of that, that doesn't. That doesn't. That, I'm. I'm not lying. Whoa, whoa. Let's 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 look at the facts here. Oh. In in twenty in twenty oh, stop uh, guy low. Here we go. In twenty fourteten, true Curry had a true shooting of sixty four percent. 64% in 20. Hold on, who was on the scene that year? Who was on the scene? All the guys that's on his team. He had he had Clay. He had he had I'm not talking about Clay. I ain't talking about Clay. See, he's cherry picking. I'm saying I said before Clay and them came, when Curry was playing, I said he was nowhere near the same player so, until he got Clay. So, 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 so his second year in the NBA. That's basically what you want me to assess Curry. No, no, no. I ain't saying the second. I'm talking about the one through the year that Clay came. Now he was hurt one of those years. So I ain't counting that year. But the other years count those years. He was not the same guy. It's his rookie year and his second year. That's it. rookie year. You're not listening. It's his rookie year. All right, his first two years in, right? I've already I just said it already. So what, was that, what was that second year? What was that second year? I already year? said it, Ticket. You're not listening. I said it already. He was over 6% true shooting. You already said it. And Bradley Bill has never done that. I've already okay. said it. Okay. You're not listening. That's, that's why I said use a different example, Ticket. Yeah, Steph, please. Steph Curry's the only one. 
Okay. Hey, hey, really let me ask you this question. Hey, let me ask you this question. Who's, who's like the best Kyrie player? Who, who, who's the best player Bradley Bill ever played with? What, what was it? John Wall. John Wall. John Wall. That's all not I want to know. Not Russ. No, sure. no, he, I'm, I'm, I'm John Wall. Okay, he, okay. He, he, not, not even her. He just got he got Russ on the other side. Like he got John Wall right from. No, the no, no, I'm saying John, no, I'm saying Bradley Bill was hurt most of the time that Russ was there. Yeah, no, Look, no, no, I, no, I understand no. what Ticket's saying. Like if you put if you put Bradley Beal on the Warriors, you take out Steph, put him put him on the Wizards. Sure, the career trajectories might be a little different. Bradley Beal's going to have better teammates, going to be in a better system. But again, that's just such a what if. Like we'll never really know. But it's a fair case to say that he could have been better. But yeah, not, no, no. Look, no, look no, I'm saying the same fair. thing about DeRozan. I asked him about DeRozan. It's not, it's not fair because if I asked him, okay, where does he have Magic Johnson? Mm-hmm. Magic Johnson was on the on the Doom Squad since day one. So it's not a, it's okay, not, it's not a no, fair. I agree. Not, it's not a fair. Chill out. 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 Chill all of a sudden, because he's playing with Clay Thompson and Draymond Green, that we have to put into question his production is insanity. When again, before they even emerged, before they were on the team, and before they emerged to be the players that they were, Curry was already leagues and bounds above everybody else in terms of his scoring efficiency. He was already doing that. So, so, the when, lo- so to answer the big overarching question, I I say these things because I know what I'm talking about. Right, That's why he asked me the questions. He don't know what he's talking about. That's the difference. No, I do know what I'm talking about. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. I know. Those are different topics. I want to do your thing. I want to touch on different topics. What do you think, Chris, if it's related? No, I was just saying, I was saying lowest capping. That's No, I'm saying. I was going to talk about how we're talking about. How you guys are talking about uh players, you know, versus in different areas how they play. So you mentioned like uh you know country Brian Reeves again. I, I think it was a good player too. Just his weight loss, his weight issues kind of slowed him down. And a guy like Rasheed Wallace, who I agree with in today's game, his game would translate better. Or even like a Paige Stoyakovich. I just think there's players today who you put them in the '90s or 2000s are better. So a guy like Andre Drummond, I think, would be far more servable. Might have got a couple All Star nods Rudy, in the early 2000s, even Rudy 90s. Gobert. Rudy Gobert, Rudy even a guy like Jonas yeah. Valanciunas. You took Valanciunas from draft this year and had to think yeah. so. I think the idea of saying that it's it's a lot easier in in this era to do do things is is not necessarily intellectually correct because everyone's skill sets are so different. So some skills. I, I disagree with Andre Drummond. I disagree with Drummond because I think Drummond's soft for real. I don't think he's really. I don't think he's like he's a go hard cat like that. He's big. He got a big body, but yeah, but he he, he, he really he don't really hold on. He got a big body, but every time I seen him play like. Like dude, like dudes that, that like like dudes that, that was really about that that was gonna bring it to him. He always fold. He always back down, especially in the playoffs. So I don't really trust him. And as far as Rudy Gobert, he fall in the same in the same bracket. Look, we low laughed at Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton, he you could he would be Rudy Gobert in this era, basically. Mark Eaton literally would be Rudy Gobert in this era. Hold on, hold on. All Rudy Gobert has no hold on. Rudy Gobert has no post game. He has no he has no jump shot. All he does is offensive rebound and catch lobs around the rim. That's his game. And rebounded block shots. Mark Eden pretty much did that. Rebounded block shots. He led the league how many times in block shots? Uh, to like what three or four times? Yeah, I think twice. I think twice. Was it he twice? won a defensive player of the year award. He won a defensive player of the year award. He did make an All Star team. So and th- that was that back then against against real hitters out there. In this era, or all, I, all, I mean, if I, you play I, like that, like LeBron. You I just think it's party. tricky, though, Ticket. I, I think it's tricky when you when you got guys in this era when you try to put them back in the 90s because it's basically like seeing the answers to the test. Like, you already know what it looked like. So because you already know what it looks like, it's not that difficult to adjust as opposed to moving forward. I mean, we don't know what the game is going to look like in 20 years, right? We don't know what it's going to look like. And I've said, I'm on, I'm on record saying this. I mean, 20 years from now, right? Twenty In 2043, Kobe Bryant will be removed almost 30, over 30 years from the NBA, and you gonna have dudes saying that Kobe Bryant was playing against plumbers, and it's gonna make you because you dudes seen him, it's gonna make you want to choke the life out of these people because you know what this dude looked like, you know how good he was. So again, it's easy to say that this guy Rudy Gobert, this guy uh, Bradley Beal would be awesome in the '90s because we already seen it. But for those guys to be able to translate their game into the future, I think it makes even more. I think it makes them even more 
I think it makes them better today because my game translates. Your game, we're not really sure what your game is going to look like in 20 years. No, but I'm just saying, no, I agree with what Homie said. He made some great points there beside you. I just think that what he said about those two guys, I think that we, we have to also add in the fact of toughness. I think that that's something that we took away from guys. Guys like Mark Eaton were tough. Rudy Gobert ain't tough. Andre Drummond ain't, yeah, he gets rebounds in this area. He ain't really tough like that. When you see him play against real tough I mean, like, why you say they're not tough? Like, I see them battle for rebound hustle. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm just, no, no. I'm saying, but he, he, in this era, is so soft. Uh, You you got to understand what he means. When ticket ticket means tough, he means, like, bruising tough. Like, a guy hitting in his face. Like, that's not going on today. Like, guys aren't getting guys. You put, hold on. You you, you, you think, let me ask you a question. You think you put yeah? You think you put number against the Oakleys? You think you put number against the Davis brothers? You think you put number against Xavier McDaniel? You think you put up against all these other cats that was in the league that were enforcers, Rick Mahorns, all these other dudes on a night to night basis? I think not. I don't think he's adjusted. Good. I think they adjust to that physicality because it can't like today people can't be physical because you're getting suspended five games. You know what I mean? So like you can't put you can't be a detriment to your team by missing so many games by being overly physical, getting in someone's face, right? But you put them in that. So do era, you so do you agree with that, that ticket? Do you agree that they would just adjust? Nah, that Rudy Gobert. Exactly. He's too soft, so, and that right there is why I can't. Hey, listen, why listen. listen. Hey, low, hey, low, hold on. The reason why I say that, low, He's I'll walk up. Hey, what? Hey, low. I'll walk up to Rudy Gobert right now and slap the taste out of his mouth. He won't do a damn thing. Oh and this, God. And this is, this, it's a waste of time to have these. <laughs> I'm getting to hey, chill time. Hey, hold on, chill time. I'll tell you something. I'll be at chill time. You can ask anybody that knows me. If I ever seen Rudy Gobert in the court in the game, I will walk to him before the game and slap him dead in his mouth. He won't do nothing during the game. He'll be shook, bro. This is the type of stuff we did. We tested your gangster for real. Well, That's why I heard what you heard what Ticket said about me. Ticket Yo, said about yeah, me. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. When when I watch the tape, he gonna, chill. He said he's going to bowl me they in the chest. That's the first they thing They never said. understood that, Chill Town. They never understood that because I already knew what type of dude you was. See, Chill Town, just watching him, he ain't going to do I'm going to run up on just hit him. He ain't going to do nothing. Chill going to come get it back during the game. He's going to come get it back. He's going to bowl you chicken. <laughs> them guys, Rudy, and them dudes, said, man. I'm going to slap him in his face. That crazy. Up. Bro, you I mean, think I'm lying, bro? I'm the not saying you're lying. I'm not saying you're lying. Hold on. The Rudy has more to lose by hitting you back. Rudy has more to lose. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm saying. No, no. I'm saying if you played in that era. I'm saying if you put him in that era where that, where that was allowed, that wasn't really – it wasn't really nothing happening about this. Bro, this happened on a regular basis on dudes I grew up around. Chill Town know the cats I came around. Bro, these dudes were walking through dudes literally slapping them in their face before the game, bro, and I dare you to do something about it. And, and they were shook during the game. I've literally seen dudes in the league catch these dudes that I be with in the street and turn around and run the other way, bro. I've literally seen that. So I don't believe Rudy Gobert. I don't believe him. He need more people, though. I, I think yeah, that, that there – Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I think that there's guys simply because of what the narrative is today. I think that there's guys who would welcome that, like to be able to just ru- to, to be able to rough guys up to be a prime example would be the bigger guys. I, I can't say Rudy because I, I, I got this thing about the Euros and I can't say every all of them because I've seen Giannis. And I don't particularly think Giannis is a Euro. He's from Nigeria. He's Nigerian. So I want to I mean he, he lived in Greece, but he's Nigerian, right? So the guys today, I think that because of the narrative, if they had to play like that, I think there's some of them who would welcome that simply because they want to get that tag off him. Oh, you think I'm soft? Well, let me prove to you that I'm not soft. As opposed to some of the other guys who, like Ticket said, you could just walk right up. You could look at a dude and tell, I walk right up to this dude and bow him right in his chest, and I don't think he's going to do nothing about it. I don't think he's going to do a damn thing about it. There's a few of those guys that I see, to be honest with you, that I see that I'm thinking to myself, I don't think that he would be able to measure up. And the reason why I don't think he'd be able to measure up because I think he would back down. There are a few of them that I've seen. Jalen, what you have to say? Oh, no, I, it was, again, it was another topic. I, mean, I was going to uh, ask what you something got? else. But, yeah, I was gonna ask, so when it comes to uh, Maddie Johnson and Larry Bird, right, one of the things that I feel like whenever I rank them all time is kind of tough is that we never got to see them play on teams with no help. We saw LeBron James play on bad teams for his first few years and clearly see what he did. We saw Jordan in the 80s play with some scrubs, see what he did. Magic and Bird were always on great teams for most of their careers. So does that does that kind of does it affect? No, it in any see, way? Jaylen, that's 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 moving the goalposts because when I think of, when I think about Bird, when Bird got on that Boston unit, they were garbage. Mm-hmm. They won twenty one games the year before he got on that crew. Not only did yeah, they win yeah. twenty one games, they would they were at the bottom of the East. Bird gets on that crew. Not only are they in the playoffs, they am, Bird made first team All NBA the next year, and then they started to build that unit around him. 
right? So Cedric Maxwell was okay. basically the, base, Cedric Maxwell was really the only real piece. I mean, they got Kevin McHale, but Kevin McHale didn't turn into that guy immediately. Now Magic was a guy who stepped into a great situation with Jamal Wilkes, with Bob McAdoo. I mean, they ended up trading for Bob McAdoo later, but with Michael Cooper, right? With Jabal, with and they end up getting Byron Scott. But Michael, like I said, Michael Cooper, he stepped into a great situation with these guys. Now the Bulls. They did an awesome job in building that unit around Jordan. Okay, what I okay. don't want to do is I don't want to discredit a guy who stepped into a great situation because this guy didn't. Because I, I, my, my grandmother told me this ever since I was a kid, man. Anybody could train a secretary. You could screw them up, too. So even though this thing was looking like it was, even though they stepped into a great situation, Magic could have screwed this thing right up. Magic could have completely wrecked this. So, Ticket, do you agree with that? Do you think Magic stepped into a great situation? Facts, Tick, facts. Ticket. He might have left because, because I mean, he went, listen, he went there. He was the he was the man. He went no. there. They won the chip. I mean, that's he, not, he stepped not, into a good. Listen, that's listen. I'm gonna say this to you. Now, hold on. I'm gonna say this to you, Lo. Y'all always get down on Kareem talking about he missed the playoffs. For Magic was coming over there. So now you ticket, can't then change it up. Ticket, hold on. Ticket, now, you can't, hold, on. Hold, on. hold 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 on. One second. Hold on. One second, D-Lo. Hold on. One second. Because I know you want to shake your head like D-Lo Brown. Let me say this to you, right? Uh -huh. So I said before, you you guys always tear down Kareem before Magic went over there. Y'all uh -huh. highlight, and I was the one saying he won a chip in Milwaukee, but then y'all said he had old boy with him. Said so, okay, cool. And y'all highlight when y'all try to discredit Kareem. Y'all highlight that he was missing the playoffs. Do not say this, Chill Town, before Magic came over there. So don't tell me he was a guy that was missing the playoffs when Magic came over there. Magic comes over there, they magically win the chip first year, and all of a sudden. He was blessed with this great team. Ticket, tell ticket. me he was what blessed. You, ticket, tell me he ticket. was blessed with a dude. Tell me he was blessed with a dude that couldn't get that team to the playoffs before, uh, in, 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 in the years before he came over there. Tell me he was blessed with that dude. Ticket, Don't ticket, tell me he came ticket. to some all-time great team like KD ticket, that ticket. was winning something. Huh, I never, I never said that. I'm gonna ask the question again. Did Magic Johnson step into a good situation? Yeah, a good situation. Yes, a good situation. Yes. Did he, did I was so good. In, did, did, okay. So is it would it by your logic would it then be fair to make the argument that we don't know how good Magic would be because there was other point guards in that in that league that were putting up solid numbers who were on worse teams? No, because Magic Johnson's game showed you he was on another level. His okay, game. So, so okay. So why do you not then use that same concept with players that are playing on great teams? Okay, because Steph Curry had to have a certain system around him to make him Steph Curry. Magic Johnson was a system, nigga. See, That's Steph Curry didn't become Steph Curry That's until exactly. Steph Curry. Hold on, Steph Curry didn't become Chef Curry until Steve Kerr came along and revolutionized that offense. That's when he became Chef Curry. That's when he became all-time legendary great. He wasn't that when it was Mark Jackson running the show. I will give y'all that. Even though I thought that that team was getting better, he wasn't that until he came. Magic Johnson from day one when he came into the door, you knew what his game was. You knew what he was about, and he was making all the other pieces around him better. These are facts. He so, he made everybody else around him click. These are sure. facts. Chill, do you think that this Magic Johnson in year one was the same Magic Johnson in, in 85 and 87? Do you think they were running Showtime Laker Magic in his first year? Chill. Well, the offense was, was the same, but Magic was a significantly better player in those years that you talk about, 85, 86. I mean, they had sped the game up. No question yeah. about that. The, the game the game was sped up, and it was sped up specifically because, you know, they got Magic. magic. Yeah, it specifically sped up because of Magic. But he was a significantly better player in 1985 than what he was in 1979, 80, so, 1987. So would you also argue that Curry, by the time we get to 2015, 2016, especially since we could see the improvement. He's a significantly game, better player. Okay. So this is my problem where, again, things are just not applicable. The logic that we're saying that I can sit here and say, hey, Curry is getting better. He's clearly going into the direction of being a great player. Right. All of a sudden now – Curry got made by the system, even though on a year to year basis, you could see him getting better and better and better. But when it yeah. comes to Curry, he just got made by the system. When it comes to magic, though, y'all all said it. Y'all said they fired. That's why y'all said that Mark Jackson had to go. Y'all said that Mark Jackson. Y'all stop saying no, stuff. I'm not saying you. Hold on. Hold on. I apologize. Hold on. I apologize. I'm going to say you. That's what that's what a lot of people say to justify Mark Jackson getting fired. Remember, it was a drastic change in the Steph Curry you seen mm -hmm. when Mark Jackson was coaching, he was more of a point guard versus mm -hmm. when Steve Kerr took over when he was more of an off guard. 
I he wasn't really the point, though. I still think they would have uh, won it. But ticket, I ticket, agree with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I, I hold on, hold on chill ticket, down. But let me ask I you agree with ticket, you. Let me ask you this. But it would have looked ticket, different, though. Hold on, hold on. Ticket, it would have looked different. It would have looked different. Let me ask you this. Wouldn't you say that Michael Jordan benefited from having Phil Jackson? No, because Michael Jordan already was doing what he was doing. The only reason why Mike. Wait, 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 wait. Stay right there. Stephen Curry, before Steve Kerr came there, was already breaking three point records, was already performing at this high of a level. Steve Kerr no, came no, no. in, and Steve Kerr came in, they started winning, and then in 2016, he no, it wasn't winning. Hold on, what was Curry averaging? Hold on, what, what Curry's average significantly went up when Steve Kerr took over because of his, no, his, no, 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 Scottie Pippen doesn't. Scottie Pippen ain't on some bull job. They probably already in the NBA Finals. We know that facts. That's Chilltown can admit that he knows that he saw that he watched that. We know that, right? He wasn't so ready Mike, yet. that's why Mike was ready. mad. That's why Mike was mad when Doug Collins got fired because they were already in Eastern Conference Finals, bro. They were already a step away. So that the only reason why he was pushed out and stopped from getting those chips because Mike still would have won chips. Because we're not because now you're not gonna make it seem like Phil Jackson was some legendary coach when he came in. He was a coach that coached Puerto Rico. Neither, neither was Steve Kerr. So I don't want to hear neither that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say this. Hold on. But this is what I want to say though. This is what I want to say. Boy, because is... he rather hold on. What Steve Kerr did was he he. He tapped into a part of Steph Curry that we had never seen before. And oh, NBA, man, Phil listen, Jackson. Listen, no, he hold on, time out. The only thing Phil Jackson did was get Mike to use his teammates more. That's it. Is that not tapping into a verse? No, I'm saying? saying to you, listen, hold on, listen to what I'm saying. Hello, listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying to you that when you look at a guy like Steph Curry, bro, if Steve Kerr never comes along, I agree with Chill Town just said. Yeah, I think they do eventually win a chip, especially if they get KD. But I do think they eventually win a chip. But I think Steph Curry looks completely different than what we know him as today because yeah. Mark Jackson has Steph Curry playing as a true point guard. He had him playing as a true point guard. It wasn't this off guard with Draymond's pushing the rock. And guess yeah. what? He If he's still the coach, Draymond looks completely different. He's not yeah. doing that pushing the rock and doing all that. So yeah. uh, the whole thing looks completely different. I still do think Curry and them could win because I think they had the pieces on there and they were heading in the right direction. Remember, the only reason why they lost that series to Live City is because that sorry Andrew Bogut didn't want to play and they had no big against Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. Well, hold and it went ticket. down. Well, hold up ticket because, but hold up ticket because I don't think you're. I think you're forgetting the fact that Steve Kerr before Draymond was emerging, like he was using Stephen Curry as a point guard too. The thing is, is one David Lee got her, and we all said the main reason why. Draymond came in because David Lee got hurt. When he got hurt, Draymond came in. It was like, oh, my God, I have a guy who could play defense, who's versatile, who could also move move the ball and have the ball in his hand. So even though I don't think the system will be the same, I mean, Draymond Green, I think, emerging is a big catalyst on why. Steph no, but, it's off ball. but, it, but it, it, is, it is, though, Dub, but here's the flip side yeah. to that. There was, a, there was a stretch where, I mean, Mark Jackson was saying, somebody talked me out of starting Harrison Barnes at the four because he wasn't sold on Draymond. He was not sold on Draymond doing what Draymond was doing. He was de he was definitely sold. He was definitely more sold going the other way. Now I want to address something really quick. You got a guy in your comment, Vince. He said that I said in a couple a couple of days ago that with Steph Curry, if he was in Minnesota, he would have been out of the league in three years. I believe that, and the reason why I believe that was because they were because the way they would have handled him, the way that they would have handled him, I think they would have wrecked him. Just so you know, there are great players who get screwed up. Just because you are talented doesn't mean that an organization can't screw you up. And I mm -hmm. think that the way the Minnesota Timberwolves were, were constructed, I mean, they took Rubio and Johnny Flynn. If they would have ended up taking Steph Curry, I think they would have wrecked him overall. And I think he would have been out. There. I think he would have been bouncing around and from this team to this team to this team, as opposed to the way the Golden State Warriors handled him. I thought they handled him differently. That's the point, Vince. Now, I, back, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry, love. Okay. So let's, this is fact check ticket here um in 2014 before um these these are the before and afters 24 points to 24 points eight and a half assists to 7.7 .7 assists the um shooting splits were 47 hold on it went up and went down this yes I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm i'm going i'm going from 24 to 24 so 24 is 20 the first number i'm saying no 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 no. i'm saying no, i'm saying are you saying i'm saying did the assist i'm saying did the assist go up with mark jackson or go down it went, it went down. Right. Went down. Come on. 
That makes my point. My point was this. Here's my point. Here's my point. Here's my point. Hold on, hold on, take it, take it. Let let let's say this because we're, we're not going to sit here and split the difference between something that's not even a difference of one. It went from eight point five to seven point seven. Come on, like what are we saying right now? I, and and uh, but the point I'm making is that uh, across the board, the numbers are relatively the same. You sat there and said there was a drastic difference. There was not a drastic difference. The numbers were relatively the same. Also, Dub is right. In the first in the first year, for a huge portion of that first year, they were still using Curry as an on ball guard. They were still using him like that way. So this idea that somebody at 25 it can't still just progress into this all time great player. Is it this that's nonsense? He was already doing those things, and everything you said is applicable to Curry. So, how you just said and said if, if Pippen was available and healthy and da-da-da, da, they would have went further. You just said the exact same thing about if Bogut was healthy and available and he wasn't doing whatever, they would have went further. You're saying the same thing, and all no, I'm saying is I'm not saying the same thing. You are saying the same thing. Take I'm it. saying it would have looked different. That's what I told you. Chilltown said the same thing. That, that, we that, tell that, you, that, hold on, this is all we saying to you. All we saying to you is. Is that they we we think that Mark Jackson could have got the job done as a head coach over there, but we think Steph Curry looks like a completely it ain't no coming from half court pulling up from fifty no. and all this other stuff. Mm. That ain't how Mark Jackson had an old school mind as far as how he played. That mm. wasn't the way he was trying to play. So mm. Steph Curry, all the the way Steph Curry revolutionized the game with how he plays now, when when Steve Kerr took over, that would not have been the same Steph Curry had Mark Jackson would have kept and, coaching and him. That's all I'm saying, bro. And it was you, working you, too. Okay, every, working every, 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 everything you just said is applicable to Michael Jordan as well. It is not. Michael, yes, it is because the way did they? So win you don't, it? Hold on, let me ask you a question. You don't think Michael would have won a triple outfield? You don't think Mike was a triple outfield? It's not about winning. It's not about winning. It's not about winning. That's what he's saying. No, 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 no. Take it. Listen to Low. Go ahead. The part, the part about Phil Jackson is that he that triangle offense revolutionized basketball. Him getting the him being able to use Michael Jordan, a guard, warn the post, move him off ball, make him use his teammates, make him a better all around player in an offense that was more conducive to in the system structure. Structure and in text, somebody said in the chat, text winner as well. Mm -hmm. Putting that around him bettered Michael Jordan. Now, was Michael Jordan already better? I mean, great, yes, but it just like how you said with Curry, it just looked different. Steve Kerr, was he a great coach before? No, not no, so, no, 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 no. Mike was still every, the every, same type of Mike was still the same oh, type no. of great whip and without Phil Jackson. Hey, hey, hold on, chill town. What you think about that? Because because remember, it, no, 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 would it have looked different? Yes or no? Did it look no, no. different? It would have looked different. Hold on, it would have looked a little different. Yeah, because, because but you got to remember. Uh, hold on, you got hold on. Come on, you have to remember. Here's the one thing you forgot. Phil Jackson was on that coaching staff before he got the head coaching job. But so don't act like he was. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this to you. He was on that coaching staff before he got the job. He got promoted that next year. Remember, Doug Collins got fired and they promoted Phil Jackson. So he was over there. So his mindset was still had some type of effect on the team. Legend of losing. So anyway, let me say this right. Let me say. Hold on. Let me say. So what we saying is, yeah, time out. What we saying, all we saying to you is, is Mike was still, we still would have looked at Mike as an all time dog killer. We telling you that with Steph Curry, without Steve Kerr, we ain't looking at Steph the same way we look at Steph today. Revolutionize the game, change the game. With Mike, we still looking at him the same way. All right, ticket, 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 ticket. So you're saying that, so you're giving in the Bulls, with the Bulls and winning, you're giving a little more credit to Jordan versus Phil. But for the Warriors, you're giving a little more credit to Steve Kerr than you did Phil Jackson. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. When Phil Jackson had Kobe Bryant without Shaq and on the other piece, what they do? They they they, they, they missed the playoffs a couple of years. The then, then, then they made they were mediocre, right? Mediocre All right, so uh, so hold on. But what did Mike do without Phil? Mike still had a team in the Eastern Conference Finals. If Scottie Pippen don't fold, they probably already in the NBA Finals and winning chips. They never they, won though. I mean, they, they that's why Chill. That's why Chill did. Hold on. That's why Chill didn't say a word. That's why Chill didn't say a word because I was he know I was cooking low once again like I've been cooking his they, ass. They were, don't they extra were hot. Before in, in 2008, they were at the top of the conference before they got Pau Gasol. Before Pau, no, I, no, 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 you're not hearing me. Listen, no, no, you're talking about a few games. You're talking about, no, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about, listen, I'm saying to you, the years before they traded before Pau Gasol, when Kobe was over there with Phil, they were mediocre at best. They were, they were a team that didn't make the playoffs at first. Then they turned that to be a meet. He wasn't on that. He wasn't on that team that didn't make the playoffs. I, I, no, hey, I'm saying the year. Hold on, Jaylen, the year. Come on. Bill came. Hold on. Bill came. Bill came, Bill came, Bill came over, and y'all seen what happened. And all this, bro. When Phil came back 
to the Lakers in 06, they made the playoffs. They made it on back to back seasons, and in right? 08, in 08, before they, the before they no before they traded Powell, they were already at the top of the conference. But this right, is where, but this is where your logic is flawed. But do you think? Come on, but do you think they would have finished? Hold on, do you think they would have finished and did the same thing they did that year? Get to the final? No, they, they probably would have got to the second round. I think they would have got. To okay, the so time out. So, so this is all I'm saying to you. Okay. With uh -huh. Mike, hold on. With Mike, without without Phil as a head coach, mm -hmm. I would like. That's why I chill town. I would like to ask you because you've seen this too. Chill. Yeah, I want to hear before, chill and Mark before, talk. Oh, Mike came this. over there. I mean, before Phil came over there to the took over for the. I should say before he came over because he's assistant coach. Yeah. Before he took over as the head coach, we yeah. know he did some things philosophically and mind mind selling. But yeah. do you would you have looked at Jay the, at the same player? That you that you saw before Phil took over, as you see today, versus Curry before he, Kurt took over, and he becomes this all-time revolutionize the game type of player. Jordan, like I said, Jordan was already doing what Thank he was you. doing. Thank Jordan you, was Legend of Losing. Now, now what now the, now the difference is the, the difference is is Mike, I mean Phil Jackson did expand his game with changing that offense. And it looked yes, different, he, correct? He, he he did he did expand his game. And However, it looked, it looked different, he took, correct? He took because did it the, look different? The, the, the Jordan's game look different. Did it, did it look different from when Doug Collins had him handling the ball at the top of the key and doing yeah. what he was doing? Did it look different? Did it look different? When you say look different, though, do you mean the look same, different? The same look different y'all asked me about Curry. That's the looking different I'm talking about. Oh, the style. The style. Did it look different? Did it look different? I, 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 hear me. What was his voice? Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, though, Lo. Wait a minute, though, Lo, because we're talking about something looking different. We're talking about Steph Curry going from playing on the basketball to playing not just off the basketball, but he playing off the basketball constantly. Jay was still playing on the basketball in the triangle offense. So it didn't look that much, but it did look different. It didn't look it that much different. different. As It did look different, but it didn't look that much different as opposed to Steph Curry, who is now playing off the basketball and no longer a traditional league guard like he was when he was with Mark Jackson, where he was coming up, orchestrating the offense. We're not looking at him like Chef Curry. We're not looking at this dude cracking the long ball like we do, because that's not the offense. That offense now that he's playing in with, 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 with Steve Kerr, that's more of a, a combination of the triangle and what they were running in San Antonio with a lot of action, a lot of ball movement. Well, they weren't doing that with Steph Curry. Mark Jackson wasn't doing that with Steph Curry. Steph Curry was more of a facilitator of the offense to get other people involved in the game as opposed to him. He was getting his, but he was getting other people involved in the game. Now, when he gets with Steve Kerr, yo, his offense looks a lot different because the offense looks a lot different. Jay, on the other hand, his game looks different, but Jay was still Jay. Jay was still playing his game the way he played it. Steph Curry's game had to change. Hey, this is too easy, low. You can't ask for it, low. You can't ask for it, low. Let me say this. Hey, tell him, Mark, there's levels to this, baby. There's levels, baby. I haven't said a word. I think I think, I think there's a a start, a massive misrepresentation of who Curry was in 2015 because he was not as off the ball as y'all make him out to be. He eventually got more and more off the ball, especially as other players started to emerge, in particular Draymond as a ball handler. But when Kerr first got there, he mm -hmm. was still primarily on not well. He was definitely on the ball way more Correct. then than he is right now. And, and I can say the it, same thing, he, Lo. And I can say the same thing about Jay because Jay. Gets, oh no, I Jay, I agree. Jay. I'm agreeing. I'm just saying, just be consistent. I agree. Well, that's that what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. That, that's what I'm trying to do. And, and, and again, say, it did look. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Look, and then just quickly. And again, if we want to talk about what somebody did when somebody wasn't there, when Michael Jordan wasn't there, they still got to the second round in the playoffs. Ticket. Yes, they did. So, so this argument about what Phil Jackson did or didn't lose and what he didn't look like, and bro, they got to the second round when Michael Jordan abruptly left. They still did that, but for whatever reason, that don't matter. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. What you got? Hey, you got more. Just hold on. One more. You cherry picking the fools. You cherry picking the fools. It's all about his career. I have nothing to say. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. This is great. This is great. It's all part of his career. It's not cherry picking. It's a part of his career. Ours. And you make sure you keep taking notes. Take notes, because this is how you're supposed to debate. Hey, Lo, this is this, 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 this the way the big boys play right here, Lo. This is where the big boys play. Hey, Dub, I know this is must be TV, baby. You understand uh, what I'm saying? This is this amazing, TV. Right I appreciate here. everybody no, in the chat. Like I'm, the video. I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you guys to it, Dub. I appreciate you having me on, man. I, like I said, I don't want to take – I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thank you for having me. I just wanted to – I want to talk about the Chamberlain thing because I had a I, I I didn't appreciate the whole you know Chamberlain was a playoff dropper like hold on let, 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 let's 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 talk about let's he let's is. talk about why Chamberlain was a playoff dropper let's not make it sound like yo he was just whack because no he wasn't that's oh, no, not what was, was going he was a, on he was a playoff dropper though he was he was a playoff dropper because it wasn't because he it wasn't because he wasn't just good enough. 
He was a playoff dropper because he changed his game. No, not no, because no. he wasn't good enough. That, Let's not make it sound like. No, when we're saying even in the beginning of his career where he was still putting up great numbers yep. with, with the Warriors, right? His, his percentages were like sub 50% in the postseason. Right. In contrast still changing his like, game. Still changing well, his game. No, 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 no. I'm talking about on a year-to-year basis, Joe. Right. What he did, what he did from 61 in the regular yep. season. I mean, the play, in the regular season to yep. 61 in the playoffs. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Not him, not comparing this these years to these set of years. I'm talking about from regular season to postseason the same year. No, he did drop. It's fine. There's a lot of players who drop, but he did drop, though. Yeah. Well, fellas, Dub, Low, appreciate you Lost Black, man, my man. I appreciate y'all brothers for having me, man. Take it light. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, Absolutely. That. Oh, man. I don't like that saying. He does. What's good? What's good, Jameer? <laughs> Jameer, is that how you say it? Fam. W. 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 Oh, that's cool. What's good, Kalou? Yo, yo. Oh, he, sorry, finally sorry. Came the mic. he finally came out the mic. There we go. There we go. I got a few what's super up, chats up? I want to read off, so just give me one second real quick, bro. This I think this may spark up a debate. Higher peak, Kobe or Duncan? What up, y'all? From Sports PSP. What up, brother? That's closer than I think people realize. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. I'm taking Tim Duncan. You know what Dub about to say. You better get Duncan on. got a peak higher than Kobe. Bag talk. Chris. Bag talk, man. You already oh, know. Bad, man. Yeah, yeah. Kirby, 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 you know why I'm going to do that. Just briefly, though, what years for Tim Duncan? Oh, I mean, I'd, uh, I'd say Tim Duncan's peak was 0-2-0-3. <coughs> like those, okay. those years. Or between 2002 to 2004, those three years. Yeah, yeah right, that's right. And then what do y'all rank Curry as a peak? Curry, for me, has a top eight at worst, peak, I think. At I worst, think. top, like, 12 peak for me. I'm going to like eight. So, I'm wait, like, when you mean at worst, that means he has an argument for 12? Yeah, well, the lowest you could see him as the lowest is like I can see. Lie. Yeah, that's nasty, bro. I'm not. What's, I'm the, not, what's the lowest you see? The lowest I see stuff is probably like nine. Jesus, okay. What he's got an all time peak? peak? No, I'm talking, about, I'm, talking peak. Peak. I'm talking about peak. I'm talking about peak. The longevity is not there yet. The best of the best, well, like the best version peak, of though. Curry. The lowest I can see. Twelve, twelve, twelve or thirteen is it? Twelve is like yeah. He can definitely be twelve. I don't know about nine. Mars, Mars. I understand. I understand. I understand the water analogy that you use, right? But in my head, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. In my head, though, like when I do think about this with Curry, it's like I like defense, like I just do. So I do like guys who are two way. Mm -hmm. So in my head, it's like, how, how can you just have a guy who's just so one-sided like that over, like you have him over Kobe or Hakeem? Steph, Peak wise? Hakeem, Hakeem, no. Peak wise. You Kobe, have him over Kobe. Kobe is co a conversation. Kobe's have, peak have him, is not have, moving me enough. I have, have, him, I have Steph's peak over Kobe. But I have Bill Russell's oh, peak. Right, I'm going to tell your ass up now. Now I'm going to tell your ass up. I just I have, got the legend have of Bill losing. Peak I got the legend of losing. Peak now I'm going to get your ass now, Mars. I'm going to make your ass be stars, boy. They ain't going to call you Mars. They're going to call your ass seeing stars when I get finished with you. Now, you just said you put Steph Curry over Kobe Bryant's peak, bro. Are you insane? <laughs> Out of the moon, bro, boy? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Do you not know who Kobe Bean Bryant was? Do you not know who the Black Mamba was? Huh? Shall we remind you? Shall me and Doug remind you, dog? Shall we remind you of everything he went through? Hold on. He remind you of everything he went through to get back to the mountaintop after they said he couldn't do it without Doug? Remember? And guess what? Hold on. Guess what? Doug, they said, they said Curry couldn't do it without KD again. He only did it once. Bean Bryant went and did it twice without Shaq, baby. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Why do you argue ESPN narratives instead of like talking about the players? <laughs> Why I don't do what? Why do you just keep bringing up ESPN narratives instead of talking about the I don't, players? Hold on, first of all, I don't watch ESPN. I got my own network, Ticket TV. So you know what I'm saying? We almost mm. pushing. We almost pushing a hundred. We almost pushing a hundred grand strong. You feel what I'm saying, dog? So That's I ain't got to watch nobody else's network. I got my own network. You feel what I'm saying, dog? So why, I don't have to why, why, do you, hey, 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 why, you why do you talk in narrative yeah, though? Why do ESPN you talk don't like Kobe? Oh, ESPN don't like Kobe, so it's no narrative that you can say I'm pushing from ESPN because they hate Kobe. Bro, you know what I'm talking about when ESPN I say that. ESPN narrative is just a, he's basically saying you're talking in narratives and not. Why actual. are you speaking? In like narrative. you're speaking in articles right now. Yeah, you're not, I'm not you're speaking not, in articles. Come on, Kobe going back to hold on. Kobe going back to back. Come on, Kobe going back to back. Come on, Kobe going back to back is not speaking in narrative. That's speaking in facts, homie. 
They all say, hold on. They all say Kobe couldn't win it without Shaq. Yeah, yeah, that's right a narrative. Right? That's, 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 that's a narrative. That's a narrative. No, no, no. That's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaking that's narrative. not a narrative. That's a fact. Why does Shaq, it matter what other people Shaq, say? Wait, hold on. Shaq said it. That's not a narrative. Shaq said Kobe can't win without me. Tell me how my ass That's a narrative. A spoken or written account of connected events. You are speaking in narratives. No, no. That's a fact. You are speaking about what people said. That's what you Hold on, lad. Doing. Hey, lad. Pull up fact in a dictionary, lad. What does it say besides facts? Nobody, nobody not saying. Nobody's not saying that it's not, not a fact. Narratives okay, and so, facts. So, 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 a narrative can be a fact, but we're saying hold why on. are you speaking in narrative? Hold, hold on, hold on. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. The only time Curry did a fact to back is when he had a player that most people at that time had at that time had considered to be greater than him in KD at that time. Now it's that they think of it differently, right? Kobe Bryant. Went without Shaq, went and got player that was clearly, clearly a subordinate of his, clearly below him in one two mo. Right, so talk about what can you say? Hold on, how can you say? Hold on, how can he put Tim Curry speak over that? And how can he put Tim Duncan speak over that when Tim Duncan had the most stability out of any superstar in NBA history almost okay, with the team they had and the coach they had? Uh, and he, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, because I'm a fiend play on your ass. And Tim Duncan ain't went back to back. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. Speak about the game, though. What what was Kobe's game in his peak? Speak about that. His game. What are you talking about his game? We're talking about his overall game? What are you talking about? His what do you game. what do you even think Kobe's a player? Like his game, hold on. His game, hold on. His game, his game was anything. Kobe's Bryant's game was anything you needed to win. Scoring, oh rebounding, counting. Oh, wow. That All was right. his game. Hold on. Post up. Hold on. Hold on. Post up. The uh, triple pump fix, the great mid range, pump fix. Hold on, mid range face up, jab step, pull up, so back away. Yo, what yo. you want? Melo is better than Curry, all right. What you, hold on, what you come out? No, Melo never Kobe won. Kobe Bryant, hold on, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, hold on. Kobe Bryant, post up, mid range, face up, long ball, off yeah, the dribble. I don't stop, bro. Three of difficulty, everything he could get, take you to the rack. Kobe Bryant could do everything, he could facilitate. Pass the ball. Everything that you wanted Whatever. from Kobe and Brian, all you had to, hold on. All you had to do is tell Kobe, Kobe, I need you to go do this tonight. He could do that. Steph Curry okay. could not do all that. You can't say Steph Curry, go post up in your prime. He's going to go post up in your buckets. He couldn't do that. Kobe Bryant, no, he, 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 he wouldn't need to. <laughs> you're not talking about, but you're not hearing me, though. That's, that's why we, when we're talking about levels, <laughs> we're talking about levels, when we talking about levels of peak, when we talking about levels of peak, you can literally tell Kobe, Kobe, go run point tonight. Kobe could run the point. And get you a triple double if that's what you that's wanted. That's a great cool. point. That was when a, did that's that a happen? phenomenal point. But uh, what, what are his, what are his that peak is a great years? Point. What, what, are, what are his peak years? Ticket. Oh, eight. Dog, I already game? told you. Come on, bro, bro. I've already told you. I said his peak years to me. His peak years oh. were them years that he had Shaq on the team. He was winning. No. The I, oh, listen. Man. And the reason why? Hold on. And the reason why you you guys will say that, bro, <laughs> the reason why you guys will say that is because yes, it's easy to be over to be diluted by Shaq. But guess what? I even think Shaq had a better peak than Tim Duncan. Everyone and, and knows. Everyone knows, everyone knows. I think Shaq. Hold on. I think Shaq. Hold on. Hold on. I think Shaq had a better peak than than, than Steph Curry and Tim Duncan. We would agree with you. We would agree with you. We all agree. Besides maybe they're just lower on Kobe's. Right. So hold on. I think Shaq had like a top five. Yeah, like five. Yeah, I got Shaq's peak top five. Right. So, but low, low. But see, here's where y'all. Here's where y'all degrade Kobe because even when Shaq was still peaking. Back when he was getting to the finals with the Orlando Magic, guess what? He had a not great co star. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You don't want me to see that because I'm finna fry you. That's not but, his peak, but you're not talking about his peak. No, I'm saying he was peaking. Come on, come on. I'm saying he was peaking at that time. Entering his prime. Entering his prime. He was in his prime. He was in his prime. So what's the time out? Time out. Time out. He wasn't peaking at that time. No. 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 He was peaking. Was a goddamn lie. Hey, dog. Stop, ladies. Stop letting these dudes lie. How was that a lie? Wait, ticket. What is going to the finals with Orlando? What is that? Ticket. Ticket. What is he went to the finals? Let me say this to you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me say this to you. Here's your peak. He was he was he was peaking at that time. Him and Orlando Magic had went to the NBA Finals, right? They ran into Hakeem and got smoked. Okay, cool. What happened when he went to LA? The instant they immediately went when Kobe was on the bench. This is how you know he was peaking. They went over there and they won almost what 50, 57 games and then won sixty some games. This is before Kobe started, so he was already peaking. Then when Kobe came along, uh, and, and they went through their little trial, that he was at his peak when they went to the three peak, and that was it. 
Then after that, it was down the toilet, nigga. Because once once he got traded to Miami, his ass was done. Period. Wait, wait, wait. Are you Jack saying, Peak? Right, what does right, Jack Peak have to do with anything? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me, so, let me, let me ticket, ticket. This is okay. This is the problem that we have right here. And just, just hear me out for a second. When you sit here and make the arguments. You're making arguments based off of team success, and yet you come here and claim as if like I'm making arguments off of team success. I'm not. I'm making arguments hey, off Shaq. Listen. Okay, listen, what did Shaq do this year? What did Shaq do the year? Well, hold on. What was Shaq's numbers a year? The year he played for Atlanta, he went to the finals. What did he average that year, low? Listen, Pull it up. You got to put it right there. Pull it up. Now, Doug. Hey, now, Doug. When this hey, Doug. Listen, listen, when his body drop, when his body drop right here, make sure y'all go get a triple sign. Now his ass to the wall. Now, hey, pull it. The, the, the year they went, the year they went to the final. The year they went to the final, Shaq averaged 29, 11, 3, and two. Dude, and that's what's me. Hey, y'all know what? Yeah, if you, if you, hey, now look, I want everyone to know. I want, I want everyone in the, everyone in the chat, pay attention. Ticket just based Shaq's peak solely on the box score and the fact that his team went to the final. Tell him, tell him, tell him. on the fact that it was a box score and his team went to the final. Everyone just make sure you know that. Hold on, stars. Hold on, stars. Hold on, stars. That's not going to stick. That's a terrible Also, the first thing, hold on. The first thing I gave you was, the first thing, hey, stars, the first thing I gave you was, was that Shaq was peaking because he led them to the final. I just said that. I just said that. You didn't listen. See, you want to listen. No, no, you listen to what you want to hear. You said that. Here's what I said. Yeah, exactly. If you let me finish four more words, you would have heard me say, and the fact they went to the finals. All you have to do is wait two more seconds. But you can't do that because you hear the first thing you disagree with and open your mouth. If you wait and listen to the end of a sentence, you might understand what's going on. But no, you. if I could say five things, you'll hear the one thing you disagree on and then say the whole thing's incorrect. That's not how okay, things go work. Ahead, lad. Go ahead, lad. Okay. So what? chat, I'm talking to the chat. Ticket just said Shaq was in his peak because of the box score and the fact his team went to the finals. If you guys want to agree with this guy and say he <laughs> knows the game, that's on you. Just so what was Steph's peak? Steph's peak was 2016 to 2018, in my opinion. You could argue it's from 2021 to now. Those are the two times you could argue. Oh, that's opinion. interesting. Those but are the see, two times and, you could and, argue. So, and so, and so, to ticket point about listen now, let's bring this back to the Bradley Bill argument. We're not making <laughs> arguments on how good a player is. Depending on how far they went into the postseason or how good they were, um, in terms of their playoff success, it's about who they were as players and how they perform. And so, yes, in in '95, Shaq was amazing, but he was better in 2000. He was just under. Well, why was he better? But well, why was he better? He was better because he had the last power. No, 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 no. He was better. Boy, he was a damn lap, boy. I'm about to answer. I'm about to answer. He was better because defensively he was way more attentive. He was much more aggressive in the post and was much more sound as a post That's player as well. And the playoff translation is much better. In, in because you play, that's what happens when you playing with the mama. Oh Say, we start the same God. thing. We start the same. Hold on. That, this ain't no, oh my level, God. This hold is on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me say this to you. Ain't no. Oh my God. We. How many players dub we seen get their game? How many players dub did Kobe Bryant elevate their game, especially in the playoffs? In the postseason, so how many players you know before the split? Oh, wait, wait, oh, huh? take it, take it, take it. Let me ask this question. Why can't, oh, why wait, wait, dub, dub, dub. Ask answer that question. I got, I got I, another question. I, I believe, I believe that everybody makes each other better. Uh, Shaq needed Kobe and Kobe needed Shaq. Shaq performing at that high of a level is because of how good Shaquille O'Neal was. That's just my own opinion. Sha Shaquille O'Neal went from like 29 in the regular season, then he dropped 30. And Kobe Bryant wasn't Kobe at that time yet. He was a guy who was averaging, I think, 20 in the playoffs and reliable. Wasn't, wasn't really uh, having hold on, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You said 2000. 2000. 2000, 2000, 2000. 2000. All right, hold on, hold on. And right, so what was, Penny, was, hold on. what was Penny averaging that year? Was, was That's right. Can you let Doug finish? Can you let Doug finish? Wait, wait, he, he was also averaging 20, and I was going to ask you that question. That's what I'm saying. Okay, but no, but that's my point. Ticket, you're not listening. The point is that we're making is that it's not as if like um, Shaq wasn't playing with an, a, a great guard out in 95 with Penny. Penny was also doing amazing things, and Shaq didn't look that great in 95 like he did in 2000. That's what we're I saying. Mean, I mean, hey, this is why we said, hold on. Well, when you're talking about postseason, there's a difference when you're playing Hakeem versus uh, God dang that's on. One, uh, that's one round. Trey that's one. That's one round ticket. That's no, one no, no, no. I'm saying no, no, no. I'm saying no. I'm talking about in the final series. I'm saying. He still I'm got not, to the final. But, I, but I'm not making an argument off a of one round ticket. I'm making an I'm argument. I'm making one round. I said he still got to the finals. That means you no, you had multiple rounds. No, I get that. But you just said you just used said, the finals just to there, incriminate you just, him. You just, you, just, you just sat there and said the reason why he looked good or great is because when you get to the finals, or he didn't look as good because when you get to the finals, well, Hakeem, da 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 da. I'm arguing 
the entire regular season and the entire postseason, not just what he looked like in the finals. In in the in the regular in, in, in the entire postseason run leading up to the finals, in the, in the um in the um, Western Conference playoffs in 2000, Shaq was averaging 28 and 15. 28 and 15. This is before he got to the finals. So mm -hmm. he was all he was he was already putting and that get amazing. He got him to the final. What are you talking about? You're talking about 2000. No, 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 no. You said before he got to the finals. I'm talking about the, the three series before he got to the finals in, in 2000. Right? That's right? what I'm saying. And what was he averaging with Orlando before he did that? Well, let me go check. Right. Go check. It wasn't. Wait, wait, ticket. Why much. do you credit? I know off the top of my head it wasn't as much. Take no, no, it ain't gotta be as much, dog, dog. It ain't gotta be as much, dog, dog. But that's still, I said he was peaking at that time. Let me, all right, let me oh. answer the question. Let me answer the question. He, 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 he was averaging twenty-five and twelve. Okay, he was still, that's still around peaking right there. No, this is, and this is where I get, I'm frustrated. So what? Oh, hold on, like, let me, hold on. So where do you have Shaq's peak? Let me ask you that. I have it like a top, a top three to top five peak. I think. I think no, I don't say that. No, no, I'm saying oh, what year are you saying? His peak? Oh, I think, I think, um, between two thousand and two thousand one is Shaq's peak. So you saying one? Oh no, okay. So we looking at it wrong. When you saying, I think you think about prime. I think you think yeah, about. Yeah, I'm thinking about. Okay, okay. Low. We think about it wrong. When you saying peak, Shaq sometimes your peak can be like you're, you're you're limited into like one specific year. I'm thinking his peak. I'm like Shaq was at his peak for like oh, uh, a few oh, years. So he was in his prime. He, he was in his prime. prime. Was like prime. second year. Oh no 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 no! Oh, no no no! I know. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah yeah. We understand you. We understand. Peak peak means literally your absolute best. Ah okay okay okay. I see that. Absolutely okay okay. Your peak. No sometimes you sometimes you could be peaking for a few years. That's that's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? But even even if though it's what he we was in '95 wasn't as good as he was in 2000. Now you could say it's it's regular, relatively close, but still he was still at his best in two thousand. So with that being said, if you were to ask, let's go back to the Kobe and Curry thing. If you want to argue that Kobe's prime or what you now what you now believe is a prime is better than Curry's prime, especially because of longevity, I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all here for that argument. But when we say peak, we're literally talking about what did they look like at their best in like like a two three year stretch. That's when we say their peak, their absolute best. That's what we're saying. Yeah. And when is that the Kobe season? Now that you know that. Uh, I got you said what? Curry's. So where do you so where do you have Curry? I mean, where do you have Kobe's peak now that you know what we mean by peak? It's probably still top three for me. We mean, hold on, you Elston, you, hold on. So you're a part of low now? I don't even know who you are. You said now that we <laughs> Okay. Now that we now that we what now that we what a, now that we what a, 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 First time I ever seen you here, man. Dude, hey, go so get a plate. Not, so let me let me ask we you this, right? Let's say if we're group. doing let's say if we're doing a draft, right? Let's say if we're doing a draft of the top the top five players that at their best, we want them for a full season, right? Who are you taking in your top five ticket? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm taking top five um, for a whole season, one player at their absolute best. No, I'm saying stop. You said just one or five. Oh no, give me your top five. Give me your top five. And order. okay, you want about position or just top five? Period, top five. Top five period. Period. I, I don't top care five. about the position. okay. I'm getting know. give me, give me, give me Mike, okay, give me Kobe, give me uh, Hakeem. LeBron's not gonna be in this list, bro. Give me uh, no, 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 nah, I don't like some, I don't like somebody who lost six NBA finals. No. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, I, I put nobody who lost six NBA finals. Also, give me also, also give me also give me uh, I gotta take um, damn, dog, this, this is, is kind of hard right here. Shaq? No. No, don't get me. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm taking no. I'm taking Hakeem over Shaq. Hakeem's prime, peak yeah, over yeah, Shaq. You got, you got, you got Hakeem over Shaq already at three. But yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about by position because I don't want to leave some guys out that I really want to put in. So it's, it's better if I do it by position. And then I'm looking at, um, you know, I had to put uh, y'all gonna kill me for this. We might not. Yeah. You know who's I like right now? I like Giannis's speed. 
All right, we out. <laughs> okay. No, we're not out. Come on, come on, come on. If you look, okay. if you really look at Giannis, it's not a top five, but it's, it's, it's hold on. Getting, it's, if you look at Giannis, you peaked off. You said it's good, man. Hey, listen, listen. It's not, Giannis it's, it's, in a three-year, Giannis, Giannis in a three-year, Giannis in a three-year fan, got a Defensive Player of the Year award, two MVPs, Finals MVP, and a chip. And realistically, if Middleton, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You say, hold on, you say that right now. But realistically, if Middleton doesn't get hurt, yeah, we could be talking about Giannis being a three P right now. And that changes history right there. Because I think the Bucks gonna win the championship again. I don't know what Lowe thinks about this year. I think the Bucks gonna win the chip this year. But so that puts them. That's four. That's four. I think the low, low. So I'm looking at his peak low. So his peak right now is is nasty right now. Giannis is peaking my pain. I think it's great too. That's four. So so no wait, no, no, no. Ticket. So you think Giannis at his best is a better player than LeBron James at his best. Yes. <laughs> he didn't lose six finals, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. First of all, hold on. He didn't lose six finals. I just, had, finals. I just had, to make he didn't have to go. Hold on. Hold on. He didn't have to go. He didn't have to go join a dude who already won a championship to get a tip. Oh, what does that have to do with that? Hold on. 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 Mark, as great as you, Mark, Mark, as great as you say LeBron was, LeBron James still had to go team up with D Wade to get his first chip. Oh, that doesn't have That's to do with that. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not here to argue with you. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. It has to do with everything, sir. Because you have players like Reggie Miller and these guys who are all-time great players. Oh, my God. Hold on, listen. If they teamed up with some of the other great players in the history of the game, they would have chips. We look at them differently. He's a fan. We're not ranking LeBron because he has chips, bro. Not to mention the fact that. When we're talking about peaks, six finals losses didn't come as peak. That's bro. Yeah. Once again, just because you want to get on your knees for a dude that lost six NBA no, finals, no, bro, I'm, I'm not saying doing if it. I ain't chicken, talking about you. I'm chicken, talking about chicken. you. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm talking that, about you okay. understudy. I'm talking about you under you. Oh, okay. I'm I just study, ticket, right? I, I'm I'm not here to argue. I just because we we established what peak was. We know uh, peak is like a two or three year stretch. Right, come on. I like Giannis right LeBron, now. I like Giannis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like Giannis. Hold on. The year Giannis won the chip. The year, hold on, I'm going to say this to you right now. The year Giannis won the chip, I like that peak better than anything I've seen from LeBron James beat. Okay, that's fine. I'm And I'm once again, I'm not Lowe, arguing. do you agree with me, Lowe, or do you disagree, Lowe? No, I disagree. No, every, everyone disagrees. Hold on, but that's, 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 ticket, that, that's not the point. I, I'm not even here to so argue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Mars. Mars. Hold on, hold on, Doug. Mars. Hold on. And Mars, in you and Lowe's mind, what is LeBron's peak in y'all's mind? Uh, wait, 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 so that's not relevant to what we're talking about. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. I'm saying, but at that's his peak, all I'm hold saying. on. So at his peak, you that's just said, it. hold on. You just thought LeBron's peak was with, was with two other all two other all time great. Is what you're saying yeah. that you're judging yeah. his peak yeah. off of, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's when his peak was. Right. That's when his peak was. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 So listen. Listen. I don't know about what time great. Hold on. So hold on, Dub. Listen to this. Listen to this foolishness, Dub. So they're saying that they think LeBron's peak is when he had to leave Cleveland to leave his throne. To go join another dude that was a championship just to reach his peak. Meanwhile, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Greek freak elite didn't have to go nowhere. Oh the, the Greek freak stayed in in Milwaukee, doubled up, led his team to the finals, doubled up, went and put a fifty piece on him in the closeout game, tripled up, and then when they got a fifty piece with barbecue sauce after the game, quadrupled up. You can still say. You can still say oh. LeBron's peak is in 09 that's, where that's he didn't have that much help. That's not his peak. That's not his peak. No, that's not his peak. No, no, listen, 09 listen, is still listen. better than any Giannis here by far. Bro, listen, listen. That's that's hold on. That's false information. But listen, if we look at it, if we look at Giannis's numbers that year, if we just look at his numbers and look at his production on the court, hold on. If we look at his overall production, his efficiency, yeah. look at his efficiency. Yeah. Hold on. I'm saying this again. I'm going by what Dub and Mar. I mean, excuse me. I'm going by what Mars and Lowen use a lot, which is the efficiency, all this other stuff, right? Because if I if we just talking about game, if we just talking about game, let's talk about game. Let's talk about game. Hold on. Let me ask you a question, Doug. At the very peak, at the very top of that game. Dub, I dare you lie right you now. Take, you Dub, taking, you taking you LeBron. Right you hold on, hold on, Doug, Doug. You taking LeBron or you taking Giannis at the very peak of that game right now? All right, all right. I'm I'm gonna answer the question, but I'm gonna explain it. So give me a second. All right. I think 
I'm taking LeBron, and the reason why I'm taking LeBron because I think him being a better on-ball defender is crucial on top of being a better on-ball defender. He's a better shooter all around. The three-point shot, the mid-range shot is all better. I think he's a better passer and playmaker as well. I think somebody along those lines, I'm going to side with way more than Giannis. He has more of a bag. I mean, it just is what it is. I'm going to side, side with that guy. But based off a of bag, he, even though Giannis put up all around better numbers except for assists, Based off a yep. bag, based, but, based but off, even though Giannis was more dominant, even though Giannis was more dominant, he was more dominant. And guess what? Dominant? guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? LeBron James had more help on those on those teams in Miami. He had way more help than know, Giannis. No, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up because for some reason, whenever people do defend Giannis and love Giannis, for some reason, for all the other players, they're gonna bring up the injuries that happen or the supporting cast in which they had. But for Giannis in the ring that he won in 2021, they never bring up that almost every contending team for the championship in 2021 got hurt. The Clippers got hurt, the Lakers got hurt, the Nets got hurt, but and then Giannis did benefit from that. But for some reason, for Giannis, it never gets brought up. But they still say that. Hold on, they still say the Suns were going to win the chip. The Suns were good. They said that because they were uh, up 2 0, but then Giannis went on. No, 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 no. I'm talking about before the series, the Suns were still picked to win the chip. Yeah, but that's because Giannis had a hyper extended knee and they didn't know he was going to play. Yeah, he was injured. Yeah, but can I, okay, ticket, can we, I'm, I'm going to establish this once more, ticket. Go ahead, go ahead, dog. Go ahead. You, okay, remember, again, going back to this Bradley Bill argument, you keep, you see how you are the one who keeps assessing players based off of. No, I'm not. I'm people. telling you, you no, you, you said. Lo, right. this is what you literally said, Lo. You, you said, right. you hold on, Lo, Lo. I'm, I was saying to you because you said I'm not basing it off winning. So I'm saying, okay, cool, Lo, no problem. I said, look at Steph Curry's game. I said his game changed once he got clean. Because can we all admit one thing? When Steph Curry played, Mike, hold on. When Steph Curry played with Stack Five, when he played with uh, uh, what's the young point guard's name? Uh, that he played with, Doug, when he first came in. Who you nah, the, guard, the, the high scoring guard, Monte, Monte Ellis. Ellis. Monte Ellis. When he played with Monte Ellis, and when he played with those other guys that he had on that team, bro, okay. who you talking about, Steph? He was looking like. Hold on, he was looking. He, he, he wasn't. He, I mean, he was looking. He was. He was all right, but he wasn't. What we, what we seen it was. I'm saying the first few years in the league, right? So, but hold on, this is what I'm saying. This one, this what I'm saying. I'm saying to y'all that the fact that he had the, the help that he had at the level he had. He was able, his game was able to develop more because he had better players around him all the time. I'm telling you, when you look at John Wall and Bradley Beal, we look at Bradley Beal. Yes, Bradley Beal ended up coming up and putting up big numbers for a long stretch in, in his career. But, but, what would we have thought about Bradley Beal had he would have had those type of teammates that Kirby had on that level and won? Lowe is trying to take the winning out of it. But the winning has a lot to do with it. And that's why I brought up. Hold on, hold on one second, Lo. Hold on one second, Lo. That's why I brought up Wiggins. Hold on. That's why I brought up Wiggins. That's a perfect example, uh, Mars and Doug. Because what was everybody saying about Wiggins before he went to Golden State? They didn't care that he put up 20 a game for his career. They were saying that Wiggins wasn't that dude. As soon as he goes to Golden State and win a chip, everybody looks at Wiggins' career and, and his and his legacy different now, bro. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me player, let me respond. Let me respond. Exactly. Let me respond. The reason why, at least. I'm going to speak for me. The reason why I look at Wiggins differently is because he's a more productive player. He's a better defender, and he's a more efficient scorer. That's why. It's because of the player. So here's an example. Jason Tatum and the Celtics have been, like, at the top of the conference for um, basically the entire season. And even, even last year when Devin Booker was at the top of the conference, it didn't matter to me because Devin Booker still was not going to be a top-10 player based off of his play, who he was as a player. I'm not gauging, especially when we're talking about peaks, I'm not gauging them based off of the, the championship or postseason success. For example, I think Kevin Garnett's peak, when he when he wasn't going to the finals and he didn't win a championship, that's his peak in Minnesota. That peak is still better than a lot of other people's peaks who won championships the years that they were peaking. It's still better. So it doesn't matter when we're talking, when I'm, especially when I'm talking about basketball, bro, I'm talking about, uh, it's in particular, peaks. I'm talking about what they look like at their absolute best. What they produce, not what did it, what did it, when did they win a championship that year? Like, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about as a basketball player. What was he in producing? How was he impacting the game of basketball? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do at an all time level? That's what I'm asked. That's what I'm looking at. Not did he win a championship? And no, I'm not talking about that. 
All right, I, w- I would like to get into some more Super Chats. But uh, Jameer and Khalil, do you have any final words before we continue, brothers? Um, well, you go first, yeah, whatever. I wanted to say, um, take it. I don't know why you're being a hypocrite because you're crediting Shaq's peak to Kobe, but then you say Steph had help with KD, but then you don't want to credit KD playoff rising due to Steph. He does, though. He will. He'll do that. <laughs> don't trust me. He will. He will. He will. Jameer, man, y'all crazy as hell, man. He will. He definitely, um, will. He definitely, he definitely will. He definitely will. Yes, he will. Ticket, ticket still didn't answer my question though about where he ranks Kobe's peak. Now that we know what peak means. Like, oh, he, he had, him, he, he, had him, he had him second. He had him second. Had him. No, 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 but the years, second. the years, the years, the years. Oh, no, I'm saying the free peak, 2000, 2001, 2002. He That's still considered that his peak, even though. For some yeah, reason. man. Listen, let me say something oh, to you, y'all. Let me say something. Let me say something to you, bro. He just said LeBron's peak was when he played with D Wade. Right, not not when he carried the team to the NBA Finals by himself. He just said LeBron's peak was when he played with D Wade and Chris Bosh. So don't tell me I can't have Kobe's peak when he played with Shaq. When he said they got LeBron when he played with D Wade, when D Wade was an All World superstar in the NBA. That's actually in 2013. No, he said 2012. No, 2013 yeah. is his best. But okay, but do you do you think do you think Kobe got better? Do you think Kobe is better in like 08 than he was in? 2000? No, I'm, listen, no, 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 listen. I think Kobe got a more opportunity. I think the opportunity to be the man. So here's the difference. You can still be ready for that, but if you ain't if you haven't been handed the keys, you ain't gonna be able to display that until you handed the keys. When Shaq left, he was handed the keys and there and therefore it, it glistened in front of everybody. But I still think Kobe Bryant was that dude, and I think he was ready for that then. Listen, I'm a type of dude. I think Kobe Bryant was ready from day one to come in the league and put up numbers. Me too. I think he'd have put up numbers. If they would have played him like they play the rookies now in the league, Kobe Bryant would have broke all kind of scoring records that we hadn't seen. He'd have probably broke the all-time scoring record had they, did, had they let him play from the jump. And just, he would have just been that type of dude. So let's not get it twisted like, oh, well, no. Sometimes when you're playing behind a guy, you can still be great. It's just that this other guy, we riding through Shaq. The same, listen, the same way if you put Shaq with LeBron James. If you put a peak Shaq with LeBron, LeBron's going to look scaled back. He ain't doing all that stuff he was doing in quad. Direct entry to Shaq. That's actually a phenomenal. So then, so then technic- but then technically, wouldn't his peak be in 09 when he had nobody? It was just him? No, 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 no. You're not hearing. Just because you played in it, just because you played without a dude, doesn't mean that your peak years was, wasn't was when you was with the dude. They just said they think they're, that LeBron's peak was with when he played with D-Wade. Right. I don't. I, I mean, excuse me. I'm not saying that. I don't think Kobe's peak was when he played with, with, with I, was, I think his peak was when he played with Shaq. I just think it was hidden. I was thinking it was hidden because everything was going to Shaq. Remember, when Shaq was out, go look at what Kobe Bryant averaged all those years when Shaq missed games. No doubt. When Shaq no wasn't doubt. playing. Kobe was putting up damn near over 30 points a game. Wait, wait, plus, I, got one more, plus this is. I got one more question. I got one more question. Right, go ahead, how, does, how does him playing with D-Wade make his peak worse? I didn't say it makes his peak worse. I'm saying because it makes his game easier. When you play with greater players, the game is easier for yeah, you to play. Yeah, but still, he's still playing the exact same when D-Wade's off the court. And the offense is still, like, as good That's as not it true. Is. It, it literally, is true. It's literally true. true. That is oh, true. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking he's saying he's playing the exact same. No, no, I'm sorry. I misunderstood your question. I'm thinking you're talking about, like. All, all ticket is saying with D-Wade is that even LeBron played with a good level player. And that was still his peak. So Right. Like, so, be so y'all, y'all make it seem like it's incredible that, shit, that he could play. That I'm thinking Kobe Bryant was his peak. with Because remember, he was younger, jumping higher, still had the skill. And then if you watch Kobe, even when Shaq was hurt. Like those nine or ten straight games, he was hurt. Kobe was averaging like 44, 45 points a game. That's 03. That's 03. That's 03. But I don't, I don't think no, I'm saying, you know, I'm saying the year, Sha- I'm saying the year that Kobe Shaq was hurt, the year Shaq had the injury, he was out. Kobe Bryant tore their ass into shreds. Every game oh, was I a 40. You, I thought you had his peak as a three peak. And it went, huh? I thought you had his peak as a three peak. No, I'm just saying, I'm saying the years he played with Shaq, I'm, t- I'm saying those are th- to me. Do y'all use in one year, bro? I think Kobe Bryant's peak was dope, bro. Y'all, 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 y'all used to use to all right. All right, now, and lost, what he's saying is that the, the year that you're referring to, where Kobe, where Kobe's putting up those numbers, is a year in which they didn't win, though. That's what no, no, saying. I ain't talking about, but I'm not saying that. I'm sure, sh- no, I'm showing you what he was doing while he playing with Shaq, was Shaq off the court to show you that I'm still thinking he's a peak basketball player at that oh, time. Right, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, that... but in 01, though, I just don't think that Kobe was doing it. And I think, I think, and this but, is okay, so what, hold on. What did he average? What did he average in games that Shaq didn't play in 01? This, this is the thing. It's not about the averages ticket. It's not about averages. Because in my but, opinion, okay, hold on. Kobe, but what are you looking at then? 
Because I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm looking I'm, at I'm, 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 no, I'm looking at his game. That's what I'm looking at. That's the difference. On right. 08, when 08, Kobe numbers. Jamil Khalil, y'all have a great day. Yeah, 08. In 08, Kobe's numbers went down from what they once were in previous seasons. Right? He was looking stupid. He but, was looking sicker than me, bro. But his but his game in 08, though, was much more well rounded. And then in other seasons, he became a much better post player. He was a much better playmaker. He was a much a much more sounder Rome defender, especially I disagree, defending help. I disagree with what you said about post because how can you play in a post when Shaq is clogging up the lane? But you but so but you but you were hypotheticals. Like we both don't know, but when he actually was there, we got to see it. But even but even in like oh oh five, oh six, oh seven, he was not the same post player that he was in like oh eight, oh nine. Oh wait, yeah, Paul Gasol who's a post player. Yeah, no, is. but I'm saying it's I'm different. So we got Paul. Hold on, it's different. Yes, Mars, don't get yourself Mars. Right, don't get yourself Don't get yourself Cook Mars. With well, Paul is different I'm because Paul is a pick and pop guy who loved to pop more. Kobe I'm had to force him to go down to the floor. Paul the soul was more of a pick and pop game with Kobe Bryant, and Kobe had to force him to get the post at times. Dub knows this. Don't play this game with me. Was Shaq directly from the post? Yes, it was. He he picked and pop more than Shaq, but he was still a more of a post player. Or a person, y'all cut this stuff. Powell was all finesse, he was all mainly finesse. He wasn't really trying to bang in the post, he was mostly pick and pop with Kobe, pick and roll. No, listen, here's the difference. Jack, how wasn't a post? Hold on, here's the difference. You never really got to see much of Kobe's game because Shaq lived in the lane, and then not only that, he was. Hold on, hold on, let me say this. Not only that, if you guys remember, the Lakers are running the triangle. But when Mike played, he didn't have dominant centers. That's why Mike got to post up more. But when Kobe played, they had a dominant center in the triangle, so they went down to him. And then you also had a power forward who was going to play a little bit closer to the basket and stretch the floor too those years. Whether it was Samaki Walker that one year, whether it was uh, uh, Robert Ory, whether it was uh, what you call it. So you, you still had other power forwards at the four spot. So it wasn't going to be too much space for Kobe to get in there and operate unless Shaq was off the court. With Paul Gasol, he doesn't clog the lane as much as Shaq do. So okay. Kobe could show his post game more because it was way more opportunity. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, oh, I agree with that. But Paul was a post player. But Powell's a post player, but also, but not to the degree of uh, Shaq. But the point I'm making though is that you're all, you're operating off of this idea of things that we're not, you don't know yet because you don't know what Kobe can or cannot produce. You're assuming, that bro, he that's not true. Kobe had that. If you watched him, time I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't, Kobe, I didn't. I'm not saying he didn't have it. I'm saying he was better at it later on in his career. That's what I'm saying. Hold up. Right, let, let, let me give you one on, example. Hold on, ticket, hold on, ticket. Right, I, I, do have to, I have to ask Lil this because I remember I, I was talking to you about. Hook him, Doug. No, I, was, I asked you about a question and I said, you know, Kawhi Leonard was the example. And I said, me personally, I value guys who both show examples of ceiling raising and floor raising. And I said, I would value a guy like that. And I brought up Ka Kawhi Leonard as an example. And your word of mouth, word for word, bar for bar was, well, I just think that every top 10 and top 15 player can just floor raise. So it is what it is. But you're that's a hypothetical right there. But right now, this hypothetical right here, you're not really trying to go for it. But when well, we talk most, about mo that. Most of, the, most of the top 10 players we've seen, they have floor raise. But how would you know they, that? How would you know that every, how did. would you know that specific player can do that if they, they haven't showed they you that? They did though, but they did though. Kawhi. I think Kawhi, I think, I think you grossly overestimate that st those Spurs team post Tim Duncan in them. <laughs> oh, you're underestimating yeah. the dunk. You're under yeah, They had Lamarcus Aldridge in that time, and then they still had Tony. Oh, that's, and okay, that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's okay, fair. Okay. Okay. Then. Yeah. Yep, man, but man, but Manu wasn't mm. the same. Manu, Manu was not the same. Manu was not the same player though. Mm. Somebody <laughs> just. Oh no, he was. Oh, go. Go. You go. 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 A Manu card is crazy. Is bench important? Is a bench important? But Manu wasn't well dub. I know you're not pulling a Manu car right I'm just hey, saying, dub, dub. A man a man a man who a man who car, but I, but <laughs> but I also said though, I also said it's more impressive to um turn a 45 win team into a 60 win team. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You did say that. You did say and, that. and in 2017, they were a 60 win team. And I don't think that team is that good enough to win 60 games, though. Like, yeah, so, but up, they, up, they, they made the playoffs last the next year, though, without Kawhi Leonard. Okay, I but I still and they you know what they were, you know what they don't were, you know what they were. First round exits. No, no, you know what the record was? 
45, 43. It's it basically around 40, 45, 46. So it's and literally I, so 40. So he turned a 45 win team to a you see. This is what Lo does when he gets cooked. Now he's switching it to a different topic. I did not talk, Thank I did you. not say anything about it. I also sat, but did I not say that in my opinion? It's more impressive, though, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. So you just use the, use the hypothetical. Wait, 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 what, 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 what does Kawhi have to? What, Kawhi See, now he's trying to get to get back. No, I'm, mm. I'm asking. What does Kawhi have to do with the? When, when did when did you use the Kawhi argument for me? I think you. I remember you saying this um with like Kawhi and Melo, but I wasn't in that convo. I heard. I heard. No, it. I just remember you saying. I just assumed that every top ten to fifteen guy can floor race. That's just all I remember. Fifteen is also. If I said fifteen, that's trying to drag me. Top ten. Yeah, though. You a dragger though. That's what you do though. Top fifteen is dragging. Yeah, fellas. How y'all doing? Ten though. Ten is not. Ten is not a real. I'm doing, I'm doing good. Hey, ticket. Your arguments make I, no sense, bro. You arguing off feelings. Hey, hold on. Who is this guy coming in here just talking? <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy, bro? Who are you arguing? Listen, you're one of your worst arguments. Go ahead, dog. All right, go ahead. Get it off. Get it off. Go ahead. One of your worst arguments. Iverson versus Harden. Makes zero sense. How is it? Iverson in, the East, Iverson in the Eastern Conference Finals had worse efficiency numbers than Bob Cousy. He Why is that? Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Why is that? Why? Shots yeah. He was taking bad. He was taking. Hold on, bad hold on, no, 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 no. I'm asking, no, no. Hold on. Why was Iverson? Why was Allen Iverson's efficiency worse when they got into the playoffs? That's what you said, right? It, uh, Bob, thirty-four percent, thirty. No, I'm asking you a question. Hold on, hold on. I'm asking you a question. What was the big difference between AI and James Harden when he got to the playoffs? Most of, most of those years, from when AI was in Philly, from when Harden was in Houston. Wow. Uh, now Harden, I'm finna I'm demolish Harden, your ass right now. Harden, I'm finna Harden, grand slam RCB. I'm finna grand slam your Harden ass. You a game. rookie. Harden you a rookie. The game better. Harden played the game better. You can shout. That's false. That's false. Harden That's false. Better. Okay, hold on. Now let's debunk that lie right now. First of all, okay. okay. First of all, hold on. Point, first of all, first of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. First of all, Allen Iverson played against tougher defenses than James Harden. That's first. Secondly, and this is the most important. Come on, this is the most important. Yes, the most important is is Not that James Harden had way more know. shooting when around him than AI. AI when had some Robinson of the worst shooting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on one second. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on one second. Because I'm about to hold on one second. Because I'm about to bury bond your ass. Now watch this right here. Now watch this right here. When you look at AI, I'm gonna ask you a question. Who was AI shooters that can help keep the defense honest? Uh, well, during the playoffs, they shot. No, that's the question. Hold on, Doug. Make this dude answer the question. Put his ass on the big screen. Answer the question. Who was <laughs> AI shooters? Who was AI shooters to make the D easier on Allen Iverson? To make the defense easier on Allen Iverson? Who was the shooters? The pause. Uh, he had Hill. Crazy. That was a crazy pause. He had who? He had Hill. The six man. I want Hill. Go. Put this AO. Go check his numbers. Go check his numbers. Go check his numbers. Hey, 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 no. Hey, no. No, go, go in the back low and get the Louisville the slugger low. Go, go in the back and get the Louisville slugger low. Low. This man said Tyrone Hill. Low. Go in the back uh, Ty Ty and Ty get the Louis Ty low. Ty Ty During Ty the playoffs, he shot low. Tyrone Hill could have shot up to three. He didn't even shot up to three. Hey, hey, hey now y'all see the low. I don't know if you meant to say. I don't know if you meant to say Aaron McKee. Maybe I think he meant to say Aaron McKee. No, he was saying Aaron McKee. This man said Tyrone Hill, bro. That was crazy. Yeah, no, yeah, hey, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. I'm gonna tell you, hey, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what Michael Jordan coach told him in high school, bro. You gotta go back to the court, get some practice, or you come up here to open gym, dog. You cut. What? Tyron Hill was crazy. Dog, this man's so tall here, dog. Dog, get him off the screen, dog. He said Tyron Hill, bro. He said Tyron Hill, dog. Dog, these dudes don't know basketball, bro. These dudes yeah, be a yeah, ticket, 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 hey, This is why I respect Lowe. Well, this is ticket, why basket. I respect Lowe. No, Hold on. Ticket, this is why I waste my time arguing with Lowe and Lowe. At least they know basketball. Dudes like this, this is disgusting, Lowe. This is disgusting, dog. This is disgusting. Hey, do rag bandit. Let me ask you. When has ever been 32 shot, 32 points on 30 shots been good? I roll heel, bro. My man, you said Tyrone Hill. I'm asking you. I'm, I'm asking you. You said Tyrone Hill. KG won Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not moving the goalposts. We're not moving the goalposts. I asked you, the goal who was AI? Hold on. Who was AI shooters that held the defense honest so he wasn't getting double and triple team every freaking possession he came on offense? Because you talk about efficiency, but it's hard to be efficient when the entire defense is focused solely on you as an offensive threat, sir. Oh, my God. No, no. We're. No, first of all, take I got it. it. 
First right, of no, 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 and come back next year Damn, for tryouts, and maybe we'll let your ass proud for the team. Wait, take it. You've been cut. You've been cut. Take it. You've been cut. You've been cut, you been cut from the squad, bro. You've been cut from the squad. You can shout. You can shout. But take it. Did they win games because they're off? Oh my God! Damn, <laughs> you want, you, should, should I should I let him back? Like, I don't know. It's back ridiculous. Dog, 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 don't chat, show, don't do the show that disservice. Do not do the show that disservice, dog. Crazy. Do not do the show that disservice. This man said Tyrone do you, Hill. Do you believe? Do you believe? Tyrone Hill was crazy. This is hey, hold on, dog. This is the pure hate that I tell y'all that comes against me on YouTube. Peons, buffoons, blemishes on the tickets, buttocks. That come on these national platforms, talk all this smack in the comment section, and then you bring them up here to play. They think they can do what Low do. They think they can do what Mars do. They think they can do what Dub do. But you can't, sir. You're cut. Uh, go uh, home. Uh, listen, 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 listen. I try think he's, been, next year. He's, he's been in the lab. He calmed down for a second. We gonna give him another shot. One more time. I, I'm all saying is ticket can yell, but he's talking about spacing <laughs> in 2000 when they won their games based off defense. If you cannot tell me because because you can't tell me if you replace James Harden with Allen Iverson that they're not winning the games the same way. And, and no, they're not. No, no, they're not. Hold on, they're not. First of all, James Harden don't have the in fact that Allen Iverson has. James Harden folded the in big time situations. The in fact is a shoot bad. Hold, hold, on, let's get that, hold on, let's get that right now. Hold on, let's get that right now. James Harden do not have the same heart that Allen Iverson has. That has a lot to do with basketball, sir. We've seen every situation James Harden has been in the playoffs. When it gets to the biggest moment, he's folded under that pressure every single Allen time. Iverson was folding. Every time. What are you talking no, about? No, 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 sir. Excuse me, sir. When the, when the Philly lost the finals, was it because of AI? No, no they, they, were, they were going to lose no matter who was there. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, Mars. Do not help this boy. Please, Mars. Please, uh, Mars. They lost Mars. They lost Mars. Yeah, they this lost is in the Mars. This is an example, Mars. Me and you, we talk shit all the time, Mars. This is why example why I do respect you, bro. You take your time to actually do research. It is buffoons like this guy who don't know a damn thing about basketball that want to come up on a national platform with with thousands of people that's gonna watch this video and say the stupidity that he says, bro. This like is you, this you, worse like than that, bro. Could be a better than I Steph asked this like, man. Hold on. I asked this man one question. About shooting, and he said Tyrone Hill, bro. I said, so, the, wrong, I said the wrong person, bro. The you wrong are gonna be correct. famous, they're gonna put this on the short, and your ass is toast. I'm, I'm on short, to be fair. I'm already it's on the short, sad, bro. This is sad, man. This is sad, bro. Y'all can't you can't rock with asking, the big dog, man. You, a you can't rock with the big you, dogs, man. No, 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 no. Let's no, finish no, back. I'm asking you a question. No, 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 and James Harden. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Who was the shooters that AI had? Because remember, Dub, they all say this. Why did they say LeBron James and the Lakers were failing this season? They ain't had no shooting around him to free those guys up to play a better game. So they had to get rid of Russ and all those guys to get more floor space than shooting. So now they have that and they look different. What was the shooting around AI that made the game more comfortable for him back when he was playing with Philly? I wait. Tyrone Hill is out. So keep going. Let's go. Okay, the guy who was spacing during the playoffs, it was just Aaron McKee. But in I mean, 2000, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Well, I'm saying, I okay, tell me. That sentence. Hold on, what did Aaron McKee shoot? What did he shoot? Uh, he shot, in, in the postseason that year, he shot forty-two percent. Forty-two. Right, trash. Absolute doo-doo. I would, I wouldn't consider. What trash? That's not, that's not trash. Forty-two percent from the field. No, 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 from three, from three. No, from three. From hold three, on, but how many? Three. Hold on, but how many threes did he shoot a game? Nah, he like two, two point like, eight, like two point eight. Thank you, man, bro. Kick, hey, bro, stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, dog. Yeah, hey, dog, the walls got in, brother. They won their games huh? off defense. That's the argument. No, 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 come on, come on, no, no, no. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So take A out that game, that team, and play defense. Are they are they going to the finals? If you switch them with another relative volume score, yes. Man, get out of here, bro. Bro, this you, man don't understand that. If you put Tracy bro. McGrady, if you put Tracy McGrady bro, on that team, bro, bro, bro. He's, hold on, time out. Ah, 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 ah. He's dub, 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 dub. Send him to the upper room right now, bro. <laughs> this name T Mac, a dude who had better teammates for most of his career than Allen Iverson, that got out the first round one time. Send his ass to the upper room. Send him home. 
Um, <laughs> the upper room. Room. Hey, hey, hold on. Low, low. T Mac, low, low. 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 T Mac made it out of the first round one time his whole career. One time. Low. Who did T Mac get out of the first round with? Low. Uh, the San Antonio Spurs. Thank you. Every other year he couldn't make it out the first round. This dude played with y'all. Me. Wait, wait, this dude wait, wait, played with. Hey, stop playing with y'all. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no excuses, bro. Wait, wait, bro, wait. My man, you got to the knowledge, bro. Did T-Mac play with the DPOY? Lord have mercy, man. Lord have mercy, man. Hey, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. That's the game. That makes no. Hey, my man, my man. I know you feel embarrassed. I know your heart is beating fast right now because you're nervous because you're getting cooked. You happy to be on the stage with the biggest of the biggest in basketball talk on YouTube and around the world. You understand what I'm saying? You on with the biggest and the best, dog. My man, the next time you come up here, man, and you shoot, don't throw up no brick, homie. Don't uh, throw up no brick. Can, can, like can, you, like you, Allen you, Iverson? You only get that's no. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, Tiki. You know how hey, you hey, look, yourself hey, look. when you hey, wait, he no, must, no, hey, no, he must, hey, he must have had a lot of bricks to leave the league and score no. multiple times. He must have had a lot well, of bricks. He shot thirty times. He shot thirty times. So yes, but yeah, hey, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But guess what? This time reflects. Can I finish this sentence? Can I finish this sentence? Hey, you go. Hey, look, you go ahead and talk to yourself because I'm not talking to you no more. You gonna say whatever you want to say? I'm not talking to you no more. You're not making me lose no more brain cells. Go ahead. So when when low brought up Aaron McKee, and you thought he was shedding his field goal percentage. You said doo-doo. But when AI is shooting 38%, what's that? Uh, so 30 shots a game, 32 points. What's that? It's not good efficiency in any era. We can take it back to Bob Cousy's era, and it's relatively good efficiency to Bob Cousy, but it's not good efficiency in his era. So you're. So what I'm saying is, there is James Hart, you're, you saying James Harden who has never been that low in efficiency ever because on top of even if he's having bad shooting nights, he's still a good free throw shooter, something hey, AI girl. was not uh, good hey, at. Hey, hey, my man. Oh, okay, let me answer that. Okay, hey, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Hey, hold on. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Hey, Doug, I need you to immediately get this dusty-ass Dash Dillinger off my screen. Get this dusty-ass Dash Dillinger looking. Get his ass off the screen immediately. Get him off the psycho light. No, no, no. Don't yeah, want to see the all double feet, but we creep low from the line like a freak. So get him out the back. Get him out the back. Do you have do you have anything to say to me, Law Mars or Low? Because Tick, uh, you're not going to have a conversation with. I I do have one thing. The what is happening to Ben Simmons is is crazy to me. Because in three years ago, if you told me Marco Fultz would be like ten times the player Ben Simmons is. I would have thought you were insane. Like I've never seen this happen to a player. Uh, I, I said this for a long time. Um, ben Simmons, in my opinion, it was always – it's like his willingness to play basketball. Like, I just don't think he has it. His game has been the same ever since he got in the league. And when your game is the same like that, like almost exactly the same besides defense, that goes to your effort, and that goes to how much, like, you're really putting into the game. So, in my opinion, I just think that – I mean, the injuries did pat, stack up on it too, but – at the end of the day, bro, it is what it is. Like, I just don't think he just wants to play basketball. Anybody else else has anything to say? No, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I just want everybody, I just want all y'all to Google uh, Daz Dillinger and then look at this dude. That's uh, all can, I want to say. Google can, it right now, though. Google D A V Dillinger, D I L L Dillinger, and then look and look at it right now on your web and look at that dude right there, bro. He's like a right, dusty ass, it. low budget dad's dealing. Get his ass off the screen, man. Take it is crazy. Context, context. You got anything to say, bro? What are you? Let's go. <laughs> context, you there? I, everything he hears is a little late. Ah, uh, he also froze. Oh, hello. He did just freeze. Oh, Let's go, Gabe. No, Gabe. Oh my Gabe God. Gabe is in here. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Y'all What's your problem me, with me, bro? What's going on? Yeah, we can hear you, but you, I think he's real late. You're real laggy, bro. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna put you in the in the waiting room, bro. Hopefully, we could sort that out. Bro, where's my phone at? What's good, Dom? How you feeling, brother? What's good? What's good? I'm feeling good. Good, good, bro. I got some super chats to get off. Give me one second, Mars. Who wins the UCL? UCL and what's that? Pre Prem. 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 The Premier Prem. League. Premier yes. League. Yes, um, oh, man. I think Napoli win the Champions League, and I think Man City are gonna win the Premier League. Joker, Joker MVP. Uh, they're about Joker. to give Embiid a civil rights MVP. Do you guys agree with that? 
Uh, don't. I don't get. I don't get the uh, idea that he's. Boy, that's some racist stuff right there. That man said civil rights. Man, what? What in the world? If they if they give it to him, I don't understand what's the because if you if you're more defensive leaning, then just give it to Giannis because Giannis will have a better argument. I think he if they if he gets the MVP, it's because they just feel sorry for him. But Dub, he I mean, low, he is top five scoring, rebounding, and efficiency, and he uh he smoked he smoked MB this year too, straight up in their match. I mean, I mean Jokic straight up in their matchup. Jokic uh, MB smoked. Oh, but I, I still I mean a lot of things you can so argue he's except, for, except, scoring, for, except for except for the number one scoring. He's number one scoring. He's uh, top three in rebounding. He's top three in efficiency. No, no, no he, he not. He, not top three. He's a way. He's hold on. He's a way better defender. Way better defender than Jokic. No, but what I'm saying is, take a listen. I, I don't think he's top three in rebounding because he, he's averaging like right at Hopefully. ten rebounds. Look it up. Look yeah. it up. He's top three Embiid? in rebound. Embiid. No. Oh, hold on. I think it's. I think it's old boy from Sacramento. I think it's Giannis. Giannis. I think it's Embiid. Oh no 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 no. Hold on. It's it, no, it's, it's Jokic. Embiid, my bad. Embiid and B can't be because I must say I know what the top. Yeah, no, no, he's top five. My bad. He's top five rebounding. I mean, so, top five so, rebounding. Top five so scoring. My, yeah, but, the, but okay, so that's that's Giannis as well. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like er, everything. If you're going to be more leaning to scoring and defense, and Giannis will have a better argument, in my opinion. Well, no, so, wait. So, here's the thing: Embiid beat Giannis twice. I got to take that into consideration too. No, I don't. I don't think he did. Yeah, yeah. I know because I know both Giannis games. beat him early. No, Giannis no, beat him early in the year. Now they won both games. Oh, no, the no, first, Philly the, won two of those second, games. The second, the second game of the season, Giannis beat him, and there was. Hold a on, look it up right now. They won I'm, those two I'm, games. I'm, I'm looking at it, ticket. Now am I looking at it? I remember making a Twitter space on it. Okay, so Giannis beat, just, Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. How many times they played this year? I think they only played two times so far. They they play again though. They play again. They've played. Oh, they only played three times. They played, they played three. But they, they play again. They play again. One two. Like I told up. I mean, like I told uh low. Philly won two. What I'm saying is they they've they've, they've won before. That's what I'm saying, and they play again, it, correct? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm saying, but they Philly has won. Philly won second. the last two. Yeah. Philly won the last two. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, the yes. last two, yes. But Giannis has definitely beaten him. Um, and that's I, not. I mean, listen, you, you having you having a one game win over them in a series is not enough to justify. I got you. Listen, I, I agree. Listen, I agree with you. But I'm saying this is what I'm saying to you. If the voters put or have they have right now, Embiid is a consensus number one. I'm saying they're looking at they're using the fact that he beat Giannis two times versus one, plus they're looking at he's leading the league in scoring, and he he's top three in efficiency, and he's top five in rebounding, and he's a way better defensive player than Jokic, and Jokic has been exposed in this last week. The Denver Nuggets are the worst defensive team in the league, I think, ranked. Yeah, in the, 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 the last like games, last five, five games, five games, yes. Games, yes. yes. No, no, no. I'm saying no. I'm talking about, I think right now, I think they're the worst ranked defense in the league. Not, 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 not the last five not, games. They are. Last, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, where are they ranked in the league right now in defense? They're, they're still in the top half. They're, they're like average. Probably. No, I thought yeah, they are average. Yeah, like that's not top half. half. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, top half. Yeah, they're still like an average defensive yeah. team. However, I agree with you, though, Ticket, that I don't think those numbers really um, depict how bad of a defensive team. Because I, oh, I, I agree. They're 16. They're 16. I think they're literally, I think they are a bad defensive unit. However, all I'm saying is, Ticket, everything you just said, is applicable to Giannis. I think it's more applicable to Giannis outside of like scoring. So the, if the argument is that he won one game, he has one more game over him over the season series. I think that's crazy. And also they, they're about to play um in like a, a couple of weeks. So I just Giannis don't gonna smoke him out. Giannis gonna smoke him out. I just I don't hope understand hope the argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're 16th in defensive rating right now. Yeah, I don't Giannis just lost to the pace as well. Halibut. Uh yeah, but I don't okay. They would they play like Giannis and the Bucks like. Four times in five nights. I was like, bro, I, every single time I turned on, I was like, damn, Giannis playing again. Like, what the hell's going on? So but I, I, low, I, to say this, low, I do have to say this to you, though, low, and, and I don't know how you guys feel about this, man. Uh, bro, <laughs> the, the talk about Jokic and, and MVP, man, I, I don't think I don't think we can do that no more. I think legitimately it's off the table now, right uh, now. No, I'm just saying because, bro, listen, let's, let's be let's be honest about something. Off the table, Jokic, Jokic is a horrible defensive player, bro. And I'm talking when I say that, I mean, bro, if you look at him defensively, bro, we're talking about a dude that don't try, bro. And that's the problem I have with voting dude as MVP a dude that literally don't try. Lo, I'm watching dudes walk past the dude, he don't even put his hands up, bro. To say that I he don't to run the highlights, for him. I know, I know, but I've also seen him be not try. <laughs> if we're if we're if the argument is who tries Many more times. defensively. It's it's still Giannis. That's all my point. My point is that uh, if you got, no, pick, I, I think Giannis is the MVP. I'm saying I know, I'm but, talking MVP. But, but, that, but that's just but that's just my point though. My point is that if you are more defensive leaning, 
if you feel like the, he plays in a tougher conference, if you want to go overall like impact and winning, then Giannis would just be the answer. Then, like, what's every answer that you could say oh, and beat over Jokic would really be an answer for Giannis in a better yeah. way? That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm with you on that. All I'm saying is, I think you personally, you and Mark, I don't know where Dumb stands on this and the other two homies in the chat, but I think y'all two specifically give Jokic a pass and the dude don't play no defense. I'm talking about none. So when it's to me, it's the race that close. To me, you can't you can't look at a dude that don't play no D and the tapes is out there. It's, it's more than just one tape from this last week. They got tapes from the whole season. This dude not playing no D, bro. I'm talking about not even putting his hands up, low. Dude's I, I, just I, walking I, right down to get layups. That's unacceptable, that. bro. I can, I can, and I agree, but what I'm saying is I can find that it too and beat as well. That's all I'm saying. But I'm not still I am talking about I think Yaku should be the MVP, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So but that's all the point I'm making is not really towards you. I'm just saying. I don't understand how Embiid got that high because the right. arguments for Embiid is really just Giannis arguments, if we're being honest with ourselves. Yeah, just Giannis right. what, the, what the other homies thinking here? What y'all think? Uh, the, yeah, I've, yeah. Seen, I've seen Embiid not try on um, picking, like picking and rolls, just sitting in the paint, like picking. Yeah. And they just shoot right over. I see Jokic, he at least, you know, he has his active hands in at least a pick and roll situation. He's going to, it's really, it's going to be drop coverage because he's not fast on his feet, but. um. I don't know why Sometimes they. Playing. I feel like Jokic has more effort than than Embiid, and Embiid has more physical tools. But you know, they, you gotta actually put it forward. They playing, they playing um, Jokic way too high in pick and roll coverage in the past week. I don't know what the hell they doing, bro. When I see Jokic um, being defended, well, he's defending somebody above the three point line. I'm like, Mike Malone, you're smoking crack, boy. I don't know what you're doing, but yeah, that's how Yaka Proto was good. eating on that uh, at the end of that game. Those pick and rolls. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I never understood. I don't know where that came from. When they were defending, when he was defending Spencer Dinwiddie, I'm like, bro, it's Dinwiddie, bro. Like, you, you guard him like he's Steph Curry, like, like, like he Dame. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, their, their, their defensive scheme is crazy. But go ahead, go, Dame. You got me in game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got, I got a couple questions oh, Mars, about, um, oh. about that. Bro, Mark, can you stop doing that? Bro? Go, 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 I got a couple go, questions go. for you, bro, go. about the Steph Curry and Kobe thing. So, mm-hmm. I've heard, I think I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've heard you say that Kobe mastered Michael Jordan's game, right? From a skill set perspective, yeah. Right. I think so, I've seen something ass- to that effect, yeah. And I'm assuming you have Michael Jordan's peak above Steph Curry's, right? Yes. So if you say that Kobe Mike mastered Mike's game, how can you have Steph above Kobe if you think Kobe mastered the guy you have above Steph? game i don't because the reason the reason i have mike so high is because he had that game mixed with the defense peaked at the right time alongside the athleticism i think from a skill set perspective i've said i think kobe to me is probably the most skilled player ever just from a skill set perspective but i think the reason i have kobe's peak lower than most people is because the offensive peak didn't coincide with the defensive peak and people like to combine the two and then put them together. That didn't happen. So when, I, when I'm when i evaluating his peak overall as a player, his defense wasn't to that high of a level. And even though he had the skill set, he didn't have the athleticism that MJ had, which is why he's not on the level of MJ. So he can master the skill set from a footwork perspective, a post game, the way he, the, the spots he operated on the floor. He had those skill sets and I think he mastered it and he added the three point shot to that. But the lack Hold of on. athleticism is you think Kobe wasn't as athletic as Mike. Are you on something? Ticket, he wasn't. Why are you ticket? Come on, ticket, he wasn't. Hold on, we got to finish this. He was at Mike's peak. He was at Mike's peak. Tell us how disrespectful. Are y'all talking about? Tell us how disrespectful. Tell us how disrespectful. Don't you tell us. You are the biggest Kobe Bryant fan that I know. I am. I am. And I know. And I know. How is that disrespectful? I think MJ. Wait, wait. Ticket, let me tell you this, right? I think Kobe is more skilled. I think Kobe's more skilled yeah. than that's what I just got a doubt in my mind. But <laughs> in terms of his athletic capabilities, Kobe couldn't jump as high as he, him. are y'all crazy? Wait, okay, okay, I'm not you don't remember Kobe. Kobe. You don't remember Kobe. 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 You don't remember Kobe. 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 You don't remember Kobe. There's some things that I didn't think needed to be argued. Ticket, ticket, let me give me a second real quick. I got a question. So I think Kobe was athletic though. He just wasn't athletic. Yeah, he was, but he's not MJ. MJ was a Oh yeah, no, I'm saying I'm saying he's athletic with MJ, man. Come here. Yeah, I disagree. I disagree. And I didn't know anyone in the world that existed that thought Kobe was just as athletic as Mike. Are you serious? He's I think I think you might be the only person who believes. When this show is over with. Google Kobe Bryant dunks and go look at his athletics. Go look at the degree. Mike wasn't doing dunks like Kobe. Kobe doing these in the game. I'm talking about oh, in Madison okay. Square Garden. Oh, or, or in Madison Square Garden. 
going well, up you, under the basket on round three, nigga. Get him in that jump, falling down uh, the ground. That ain't how you measure athleticism. Kobe is an MJ. That is athleticism. Come like, on, come on. Kobe is an MJ. How can you say that when you never jump? How can you say that when you never jump? Kobe is an MJ athletic. Hold on, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Mars, Mars. Hold on, Mars. I'm about to cook him. How can you say that in athleticism when you never jump? Have you ever jumped? I said that's. I said that's not how you measure athleticism. How have you ever jumped? <laughs> so athleticism. Hold on. So athletic, hold on. So athleticism is the ability in the air to not only get up but be creative when you're up. That's Kobe the, Bryant was not only that. Remember. Hold on. Remember. Remember. Kobe Bryant not only to get up but he was creative in the air with them dunks. It wasn't just like he was doing. He's going through. Go ahead. Okay. Wouldn't you say that's more acrobatics though than athleticism? Be that's about 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 it's all it's it's but it's Not all right. it's it's all a part of athleticism. However, yeah, like, bro, Jordan, Jordan, I take it. I'm I'm floored that you you're arguing this right now. T Jordan, Jordan's first step is quicker than Kobe's. Jordan, are these um, dudes on, are these dudes crazy? Wait, so Kobe Bryant, no, no, this is the same dude. Come out. The same dude. If you could run a game, if you could run a poll right now, that would be great. Same dude that jumped over Dwight Howard. It's the same dude that got dope. Hey, yo, bro, man, y'all yeah, some very you're, you're, you're making it seem like Jordan never dunked on anybody. No, He's I'm like, saying he jumped over Dwight Howard. You're okay, ticket. You're making it seem like Jordan never had any athletic, overwhelming dunks. Kobe Bryant jumped over. You can Dwight say that he, Howard. He, he didn't. He didn't jump over him, but he dunked on him. No, yeah, no, he jumped Kobe, over him. Kobe is, no, is Kobe the best dunker of all time? Are these dudes, boy? These dudes insane. No, Dominique Wilkins to me is the best dunker. Of Top 10. Is Dominique Wilkins more athletic than MJT? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Dominique Wilkins is a human highlight reel. Hey, yes. I think I understand. Wait, I think I, I understand what Dominique Wilkins, hold on. Yeah, Dominique it, Wilkins got robbed. Dominique Wilkins got robbed in, in, in the slam dunk contest one of them years. He got robbed. Dominique Wilkins straight up out dunked Jordan and they gave it to Jordan because of Jordan's name. And I'm telling y'all the truth. That Dominique Wilkins was truly the human highlight reel, bro. It's been dudes. I, listen, oh, it's shit. been dudes. That, Ron, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he do? What he do? Dominic was just doing Wait, windmill. Can I, can I, what he doing? Can, can, can I finish real quick though? Because I, I had to. I had another question. Uh, no, Eleven no, percent of people are crazy. Twelve percent so, of people so, are crazy. So, Mars, I, I get that. Like the Kobe's defensive peak wasn't at the same time as he peaked. But wouldn't you say even in that peak, it was better than what Steph Curry was? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. No, 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 one hundred percent. That's only. So, so it's like, I think. Kobe peaked both ways offensively and defensively, so why don't you have him like I get you said it was an argument, but I don't understand why you don't have him higher. Because a peak a peak no, is hold a, on. A peak, time out, time out, dog. Hold on, dog. Time out, dog. Time out, time out, time out. I'll get to it. I'll I gotta go back. I gotta I gotta go back and say this. I don't want I don't want to disrespect you, bro. You good, bro, bro, we literally just sat on here and dub. I'm ashamed of you, bro. I'm ashamed of you, bro. Yo, dub. I am very really ashamed of I am ashamed of dub. I need you and I need low. Low, whatever you're gonna do. Take your ass to twi Twitch or whatever you're going to go. And you pull up them Kobe Bryant highlight, dunk highlights low. And you tell me you guys are disgusting. But you guys are not. I, I actually hold on, hold on. I agree. I Kobe agree Bryant, his athleticism, his athleticism rivals, no, his athleticism rivals everybody in NBA history. I'm talking about the creativity of the dunks he could pull off. He could do jump, everything. Uh, so that's a different argument that I was No, no, no. I ain't saying that. No, I'm saying because you had to have the create. No, listen. To have the creativity to do these things in the game. My I'm talking about in the game. Go behind the back, dub, to go behind the back and 360 in the game. Change hands 360 in the game. No, that's not Hold on. I'm not going to lie. That is a good point. Duh, duh, Ben, duh, duh, duh. Being acrobatic is not good. He's throwing it off the backboard, too. Yamming on dudes in the game. So is this Carter more athletic than Michael Jordan? Yeah, I was about to yeah. get to that. Is yes. Vince, you said Vince Carter is more athletic than Michael Jordan? Yes. Bro, we are, er, saying, everybody knows it. Everybody at University of North bouncy, Carolina knows it. Vince or Carter, or hold on. Vince Carter, oh, bro, listen. Let me tell you a story about Vince. Vince used to go to the gym and pickups. This when he was older. He didn't even stretch. Vince would go to the court, do something crazy, just walk on the court. Ooh, everybody just go crazy. Listen, I'm talking about athleticism from Vince Carter was off the Richter scale, bro. <laughs> If, if Vince and Jordan would have had a dunk off, if Vince and Mike would have had a dunk off, it would have been the greatest dunk off that mankind has ever seen, bro. You're arguing dunks, though. We're talking about all oh, the well, think, come on. If this was athleticism was sick. Yeah, because, listen, yo, hold on. When we talk about athleticism, bro, we're talking about agility, your ability to do creative and different things in the air. Mm -mm. Vince was able Whoa. to do all of this. 
No, that's not that's not when we talk about athleticism. Athleticism is literally how how high you can jump in the air, how laterally quick you are. Your Vince first had a bigger uh, Vince had a higher vert than, than Mike. Yeah. No, no, but it's it's everything. Vince, Vince Vince didn't have the same foot speed as Mike though. He did not. I, right, but see that's why I, I gauge it all. That's why I, I equal it out because so Vince Vince was a higher jumper than Mike. Okay, Vince, what else? Vince was a more, hold on. Vince was a more, Vince was a better dunker than Mike. That's not athleticism. That's, 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 come on, like, no, that's, but I'm giving you come on. I'm giving you different examples. I'm, what I'm yeah. saying is he was more he was more creative in the he could be more that's creative. Not that's fair, though. That's not listen, 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 listen. But listen, what I'm saying to you, Lou. But I can give you the foot speed. I give you that. Mike was better foot speed. But when you look at the other things with Vin, with VC, bro, that that's higher, the reason. That's it. No, well, well, what, what do you? Yeah, what else? Athletic wise, what else? Athletic wise, about the degree I think, of I think, difficulty. I think, I think it's I think it's quickness. Uh, quickness, not only from point A to point B, like lateral quickness. I think that's also a part of um. Athletic. I agree with you on that. I agree and, with you. On and Vince Carter certainly ain't. Touching a Michael Jordan at that. But hold on, but if you saying that, hold on, if you saying that, Kobe was faster than Mike, though. Oh, this is where we get. Because you know. I think Michael Jordan's foot. If you saying that, hold on, Kobe was faster than Mike. I Kobe Michael was quicker Jordan. than Mike. Hold on, if you saying that, Kobe was faster than Mike, quicker than Mike. Yes, come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kobe was faster than Mike. Kobe was quicker than Mike. Kobe was more creative than Mike, and and even in the games with his moves, movements, and dunks in the game, we seen Kobe do shit we never seen Mike do in the games. Let me ask you. So wait, let me ask you this. Take it, let me ask you, take it, take it. Let me ask you this, right? Can somebody be like so? Can MJ just be like a more athletic dunker and Kobe Creative just be a and more, more skilled? Fluid, and Kobe just, just be a more skilled dunker? Just, wait, my bad, Dub. I just searched it up. Michael Jordan has a higher vert than Vince Carter. No, he doesn't. No, 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 no he doesn't. I, 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 no, I just searched it up. I just searched it up. Not. I'm at it. No, 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 that's not true. Bro, hey, my man, my man. That's not. Hey, hold on, my man, my man, my man, my man. My man, you talking about somebody who's seen it in real life? No, he does not. But you, hold on. It ain't too many. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you. Hold on. It ain't too many people walking planet Earth that got a higher vertical than Mitch Carter and Zion Williams. It ain't too many people. You tell me, you tell me when I search the line. Chart. No, 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 no. You search it. You search that online. I seen it with my own eyes. Oh, wait, wait, oh, check it, check it, check it. Do you think? Do you think Zach Levine is as good as an athlete as these players? That's Zach Levine, chart. he's a great. Zach Levine's a great athlete, but he doesn't have the same. For like when we talk about athleticism, Zach Zach Levine has. He's got bunnies. He got hops. But he when we talk when I talk about athleticism and all that stuff, I'm talking about what Kobe did. Kobe was pure poetry and art in the air. Just like Mike was, but Kobe had more to it. If you watch Kobe, bro, the shit he was doing in the games, bro, I'm talking about in traffic with dudes in transition. Kobe's out that bitch, putting that bitch behind his back, 360 in that bitch, got them cheese into the crowd. He keeps saying the same dunk. No, he keeps saying the same dunk. I know, bro. I'm saying, no, I'm saying, but what you talking about? Me saying it, hey, low. Me saying it, don't do it no justice if you watch it on tape. No, I've seen, I've seen it, I've seen the ticket. But what I'm that saying is, is that crazy. That's, you didn't I even see Mike very, doing that shit, bro. It's, it's very crazy, but the point where I, or at least I'm making is that your ability, your creativity in the air is like, it's not a defining um. Trait. No, but I'm How saying with, with Kobe, he was, to me, Kobe was quicker than Mike. He was mm. faster than Mike. Mm. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Kobe, Kobe Bryant, when he can't, yes, he was. Bro. That's more so dexterity. That's what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dexterity. Kobe. Even even when I watch, even when I watch dexterity, um, dexterity, the ability to like it's kind of really like time and dexterity. man. Even when I even when I watch Jordan, bro, his first step is like by far. Right, man. Kobe's first step Jordan, is stupid. Uh, Kobe's getting uh, past these. I, uh, I got a couple. I got a couple more super Jordan, chats. Jordan, Jordan's first step is. Out, I got. Right? I got a couple more. Hey Dub, chats. I'm ashamed of you, Dub. And I'm gonna expose you for turning your back on Kobe being Bryant, bro. You sad? Yeah, man. you know I'm always going to ride for yeah, Kobe, bro. Man, you supposed to, hey, hey, Dub, man, you supposed to ride on this one, man. I, I love, I love Martin Kobe to death. I love low. Kobe to death, but the athleticism part, I didn't part, know this I just couldn't. I thought he know this. I, I can't get with the athleticism part. I just can't. But no, all dude. love, all yeah, love, to bro. Kobe, bro. All love. To and Kobe, also, and also, being being second or third or whatever to Michael Jordan is not. Ain't no second or third. I'm telling you, he's on the same level. Period. Wait, wait, Ticket, did no, you agree with no. Ticket? Did no, you agree with me when I said Kobe more? was more skilled? No, did you? No, I, 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 I'm, 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 no, I'm watching. Boston, I'm watching Hold I'm on. I'm, 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 hey, look, duh. I'm gonna no, say something I, that's gonna make I, all I, these I, dudes mad. I'm gonna say something right now that's gonna make all these dudes head spin. Kobe Bryant more athletic than LeBron James. Oh that, that, no, that's fine. That's fine. Ticket, 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 ticket. Did you agree with me? Ticket, did you agree with me when I said Kobe was more skilled than MJ? Did you agree with me when I said that? 
Yeah, he's more. He went. Yeah, he's more skilled than MJ. So he's more skilled than him. I'm more athletic, but you think MJ's better? That doesn't make sense. Because yeah, because, no, it does make sense because listen, sometimes dudes know. don't have the same amount of skills or which. Let me give you an example, right? I'm gonna give you one perfect example. Okay. One more Mars, you know why? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna give him a perfect example. Enough. Hold on, I'm gonna give him an example. Wait, no, no, it's not that. It's not that. I'm not even gonna use that. Okay. Joel Embiid is more skilled than Giannis, but Giannis is better than Joel Embiid. Yeah, but Giannis is more athletic than Embiid. No, you're not Kobe here. Has, Kobe Listen, has no, both no, of them. No, I, I just defeated what you said. No, 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 Joel, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Once again, you heard one part and addressed it. Both. You said Kobe is more athletic and more skilled. Um, right, both of them. no, no, and, no, no, no. And Bede is just, more no, skilled. Gonna... Giannis is more athletic. He doesn't have both. No, but you just asked me something different, though. You, the question you just asked me, the last question was different. No, I said, I said, if Kobe's more skilled and more athletic, why is MJ seven, better? Six? That's right. why I I'm asked. I'm telling you, hold on, hold on. Oh Listen, God. I'm telling you, no, 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 no. Okay. It has nothing to do with winning. Mentality, okay. drive, will, desire, all these things coming. Listen, this is what I separate to me Kobe, LeBron, Mike, LeBron, the mental aspect of the game. This so is the MJ, point. MJ's got, on, mentality on, on, is on, 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 on a different hold on, level to Kobe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on uh, Mars. This is the okay. part that you guys eliminate from basketball. Y'all eliminate the mental aspect of the game, mental toughness, all this stuff. This stuff counts. I'm going to give you one last example. Uh, game one, NBA Finals, Golden State Warriors, LeBron James has 50, J.R. Smith screws up. You know uh, what Mike does? He ain't land on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ticket, 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 ticket. What does Kobe do in that situation? I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how this goes. Mike goes over to the huddle. He doesn't ask Tyron Lue about a timeout. He doesn't say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. He says, what he does is, is he says, give me the effing ball in overtime. We taking this shit home. I'm taking this shit home. Okay, you know ticket, what I, ticket, I agree. Mike, ticket, proceeds, I agree. Mike proceeds to go get game one on the road and change the whole series. That's, that's the fine. difference okay, between ticket, Mike and LeBron James. Ticket, period. ticket, that's fine. What does Kobe do in that situation? Same, same as Mike. So where is the advantage for MJ over Kobe? No, I'm staying to you. No, because MJ, he, his toughness was tough. His mental was a little more tougher than Kobe's. How much, how much better? If MJ's a 10, what's Kobe? Six. Kobe's a eight. Six. Okay. Okay. If M if if Kobe's skill set if Kobe's skill set is a ten, what's MJ's? Uh, nine. Okay. If Kobe's athleticism is a ten, what is MJ's? Nine and a half. You see, we did there. You see. Okay. <laughs> you see. Okay. You see. Okay. You see. Okay. Be real. No, I had to be real. Low. I had to be real. Low. I had to be real. Low. I had to be realistic. With like he said, we all know. That Mike was mentally tough. That's a big part of the game of basketball. Low knows this. Low knows. Don't forget to check out the show. But when it came, but when it came to when it came to LeBron, was separating him in a lot of instances. Case in point, Dallas Mavs series. Mike's mental toughness presents a different outcome in that series because Wait, Mike mentally better than Kobe's. Mental, hold on, but hold on. Tell me, no, no, no. All right, tell me. Mm. Uh, let me say the same thing. Kobe Bryant, same thing, same situation. With D Wade in the NBA Finals, Kobe Bryant's mental is not going to allow Jason Terry, not going to allow JJ Barrett to run their mouth and talk that ish and get him out of there. It, especially when you got D Wade and Chris Bosh on his team. Kobe Bryant so, ain't going out yeah, like that. Yeah, Kobe but, Michael, but, Michael, but, Michael has a, but Michael has a better mental. Michael's a better mental. He's more mentally tough than Kobe. Well, I don't know that because listen, I'm gonna tell you, you had to be mentally tough to be going through your Kobe <laughs> Hold on, let me say this. Hold on, hey, no, I'm gonna say this. No, no, I'm gonna say this. You had to be mentally tough to go through what Kobe was going through in Colorado. That's fly the, from that's, court, that's, fly that's from my court, question. fly from court to court, still giving dudes 40, still winning games, still hitting game winners in Denver while the situation was going on in Colorado with your life on the line. Man, ticket, Kobe ticket, Bryant, ticket, I agree. With, okay, ticket, ticket. You thought it was disrespectful to say MJ was more athletic than Kobe, right? I think it's more. I think it's just. I think it's. I think it's more disrespectful to say Kobe's mental toughness. No, because was an eight played, compared I'm to MJ. Why it's not. That's why I'm gonna tell you why it's not. Because okay. every guy who's played with both of them say the dudes is wired the same way. But I agree, the, but you're you saying Kobe is eight. an eight and MJ you is a ten. I think that's disrespectful. I'm just hold on, time out. Because even if you listen to their coach Phil Jackson. Phil would say, look, in that category, Phil would say that Mike's mental toughness was a little bit better than Kobe's. Go look at that's what fine. Phil said about that. No, a little is fine. You said eight to ten. That's 80%. Right, that's not too much. That's not too much. That's 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 right there. 
Kobe's an eight, so who's a nine? Okay, so let me give who's you so LeBron, to me. Hold on, so to me, LeBron James is a four. No, that's who's fine. No, LeBron's not in this conversation. Who's a nine? Who's if Kobe's a nine? A, if Kobe's an eight, who's a nine? No, that's it. Ain't nobody else in there. Hold on, ain't nobody else. I don't have. Oh, nobody so no one else is even above an eight. Hold on, everyone else is mentally. I don't have nobody. Hold on. I don't have nobody else in that in that room right there. As far as I mean, the only other guys you Hold can on. put like close up there in mental toughness is like guys like Larry Bird, those guys. But I don't even got Where's them on the Where's Larry Bird? Where's yeah, Larry Bird? what's Larry Bird? If, if Kobe's Larry an like eight, a seven. I got Larry like okay. a seven. You like a seven? Larry Bird. I got a question. Ooh. I got a question. What's okay, up, I'm, I'm, I'm just up ticket, here. ticket, ticket. You brought up you brought up LeBron in 2011, right? Right. Didn't Kobe get swept by that same Dallas team that year? But he said, Yeah, that's after he went. That's after he went to three straight NBA finals. Isaiah Thomas. Hold on. That's after. Hold on. Let me say this. After he went to three straight NBA finals. And hold on. And something Kobe Bryant never used was he was hurt that series. He had hurt his ankle real bad. His ankle was the size of a grapefruit. He never used that as an excuse. And that was a series that Phil Jackson had to punch Pau Gasol in his stomach like thirty times because he didn't want to play. This is uh, 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 I got what, what is what is the man. difference maker for you? Um, I just need to know, man. This is, I've I've never heard in the eight. same day that Kobe's yeah. more athletic than Jordan, and Jordan's mentality is just level. Is, is a ten that's, and Kobe's at yeah, eight. That's, that's, that's Kobe's cool. to go. Hey, hey, to go. Hey, hey, listen, Jordan was different, bro. Mike was different, man. Mike, I, agree. I, I think, think I think Jordan was different, different athletically. Yes. I oh, agree. I'm talking. About, I'm talking. About, no, I'm talking about mentally. Mentally, yeah, you can agree, yeah. don't ask me. Ask all the cats that played against no, him. Tricky, and, uh, tricky. I'm gonna bring some people up here. They gonna tell you about Kobe's mentality. Kobe and MJ, eight. Kobe and MJ, one in the Kobe same. Kobe and A is is crazy. That's Kobe that's yeah. yeah I, I, no, I no, think no, that's no, 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 Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ticket. I, oh, I, I don't know if I can let you disrespect Kobe like that. Oh, you the reason why I said, hold on. I'm gonna give you the reason why I said that. Come out. I'm gonna give you the reason why I said that. I'm gonna give you the reason why I said that. And this is the this is the only thing I ever disliked about Kobe. And even though Kobe's my favorite player, oh, was that Kobe oh, Bryant wow. allowed he allowed Phil Jackson to influence him to change what he know he should have did in his heart in that Phoenix Suns series. God. That's the hold only on. reason why. Hold on, take it, take it, take it. I, I'll explain it. I'll explain it for you. What, mm. what, what? Ticket is saying, which I do understand. Not an eight dub. Do you know? Do you know John Jones and Daniel Cormier? Low, DC, no. the UFC fighters, the UFC yeah. fighters. Yeah, no, it's it's all. Uh, so Daniel Cormier is the guy where the only people person he was losing to was John Jones, and then this other guy, but we won't name him. DC is like a nine, like all time. He's like a nine. And but compared, no, 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 just a nine fighter. Okay, when okay. you compare him to John Jones, there's a he's an eight because I'm comparing him to John Jones, who's the goat, and yeah. there's a note, there's a there's a there's a noticeable gap because John Jones is just different. Nine overall, but compared to John yeah, Jones, but that's fine. Eight. But do you think for Kobe? Yeah, oh like, I, 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 if you if you want to say that Kobe's a nine, we gotta be honest. Hey, Doug, we gotta be honest. We know that Kobe's never we know that Kobe's never a quitter, but for me. For me, here's that. Here's the the difference, and and that breaks that difference right there. That one situation, right there, it happened when Phil told him to stop shooting the ball, and he Mike would have never listened to Phil in that situation. Now Mike listened to Phil when he told him to pass the ball and use the teammates. Uh, but those guys were hitting shots. The guys that Kobe was playing with, they weren't making any shots, and Kobe folded under Phil's will because Phil told Kobe, "This is what you need to do to beat Phoenix." That's why he got mad and when they had that argument with, with uh Charles Barkley on TNT when Charles ripped him for not shooting the ball no more. When he had shot it, remember, up 3 1, he kept shooting at those other two games and they lost. So, Phoenix, wow. they loved this game plan. They loved it because they were just going to keep going, gunning back. Phil was like, yo, you're not going to win like this. So, Kobe wow. went and listened to what Phil said. Hold on, hold on. Why does that go from a 10 to an 8? It can go from a 10 to a 9. Listen, because, because Mike, hold on, because Mike, and that's I'm going to tell you why. That's just because a moment. Mike, Mike, Mike hold on, because is literally Mike. literally in 8 minutes. Ticket, your show is literally in 8 minutes. Okay, okay. That's, just, that's just a moment, too. Though. Yeah, we got a lot of super chats. A lot of super chats. All right, now break down Shaq's losses and apologize to Kobe Bryant. Sorry, that Kobe. Sorry, know. sorry, Kobe, for all the disrespect that ticket was spewing the last ten. Yeah, minutes. that was crazy. That was crazy disrespect. 
Oh, I'm, about to, I'm, about, I'm, about to go break, I'm about to go break that glass right there. Put that jersey on, boy. That's that's crazy, boy. <laughs> that's crazy. Angie Carr, Mars, thoughts on flat art? Flat Yo, art. I love that, that, was crazy yesterday. Player, that was crazy yesterday, bro. That Bean, hey, 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 low. Bean's my favorite player, bro. I'm just saying, compared tell. to Mike, I can't tell. No, compared mm-hmm. to Mike, bro. Like, you sound compared like a Mike, hey, compared to Mike, compared to Mike, bro. Sorry, man. My every situation, Mike was going right now. I don't know, man. No, I got. I mean, I guarantee I got more Kobe here than you. Mm. 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 Uh, maybe, maybe gear, but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but PC open gym turn paraphernalia. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I got more. Kobe I got, I got eight Impromptu. and 24. You got 24. Oh, love. No, I oh, I got I got three different eight jerseys. Huh? You're bugging. I <laughs> thought no, 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 no. on John Barant's punishment, justice slash time served, or slap on the wrist. He was fine, bro. I mean, they can prove fine. nothing, so yeah. I, I mean, it. Bro, it's it's, it's gonna be ten games in total. He's fine, bro. I just hope Ja learns from this situation. That's all. Well, he gonna learn. Definitely, he, he definitely Paul, gonna learn now. Paul, yo, Doug, yo, did, pause, pause, Doug, talking like that. Doug, Doug, did you get a new mic? Huh? Yes, he did. You yeah. got a new mic? Yeah. How, how do I sound, Gabe? <laughs> hey man, not on the stream, bro. Not on the stream. Man, like you listen to jazz. It's crazy. Shout out players' choice. Y'all go to for sure. Yo, low. Mind your business, bro. Pause. <laughs> if Westbrook, if Westbrook was on the Warriors with their spacing, does it make Westbrook Pause. a better shooter, or does it create better opportunities? Link. Oh, that's it a better, oh, it that's makes him a better. It makes yeah. him a better shooter. It's a percentage will go because you're getting wide. A better open shooter? Money. How? No, 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 better shooter? no, no. Listen, no, no. Listen, listen. Your percentage will his percentage will go up from the wide open looks because really? after a while you would you you would get back when you get looks like that. You're more inclined to hit those than looks that are contested or bad shots. So it's him getting him, hit, him getting great shot, him getting great shots, him taking them and making them are better than him getting bad shots. I'm it's pretty sure you, if you look at uh, hey, when he was on the Rockets, he shot like 25. percent Hold on, but you're not hearing me. I'm pretty sure. If you get, I'm pretty sure. Low looks up a chart of of Russell Westbrook's uncontested threes versus contested threes. I'm pretty sure you'll see the difference in percent. But okay, he, still, he, was he was on the Rockets. He was on the Rockets. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, Lowe's, a, Lowe's sure is a cat guy. He's a computer guy. If Lowe looks up Russ's uncontested threes versus contested threes, I'm pretty sure he'll see a drastic difference. Maybe about seven or, or eight points. Maybe six, seven, eight points. Like, like that. Like, like ninety percent of Russell Westbrook's threes are open anyway. But he was on Houston, and he what shot like twenty five percent. I doubt that. Well, you can look that up on Stat News right now. I mean, I doubt that. Yeah, mo- most of most of uh, Westbrook's threes are are wide open. Yeah, most of Westbrook's threes are wide open. This I know, boo. I know. Bro. And, I watch the games to care. I watch the games. And, so and, he, and he shoots. And he shoots. He shoots thirty one percent on wide open threes. So I watch the games. What do you shoot on defender threes? Um, twenty eight percent. I think his best. So he's like trash for us. So he's bad. So right it goes right up. Like hold on. It goes right? up three percent. It goes up three percent. Two to three percent, but not seven to eight like you just said. It All right, cool. Go All right, cool. Uh, from trash uh, to standing uh, uh, see, you uh, see, you see what's funny about Low? He, he always does that to himself, but nobody does it for him. Pause. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't have a lot. Pause. 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 Yo, pause. Yo, pause. I, 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 I don't understand why Ticker goes out his way to disrespect fans in the community. If you have a problem with Devin Mars bringing people up here, oh, you can stay off the show. No, we are the show, and I don't have a problem with them bringing people up here. I have a problem when he brought the dude up here. He called me out and don't know a damn thing about basketball. Did, did he not call me out when he came up here? He did. Did he not say, Ticket, I got a problem with you? Did he not say that, Dub? Dub, uh, did he not say that? I was pretty sure. Said, no, Ticket, sure. I got a problem with you. I said, well, what's your problem with me? Oh, yeah, man. You said about AI. Yeah, okay. And then what? <laughs> Who said Tyrone Hill? Get his ass out of here. Uh, Good nah. night. If spacing makes it easier for offensive players, does it make it a lot harder to play defense in this area? This is for you, Ticket. Does it make it a lot harder? No, because guys ain't trying to play defense. Guys are just trying to outscore each other. No, no, but the, but the the people who do play defense, like Drew Holiday. Ooh. Drew Holiday. Ooh, tell me. He's Drew the only Holiday. one. Holiday in the conference. Him, you know what I mean? him, Giannis, and, the, and, 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 which, and the Bucks are pretty much the only ones that trying to really play defense. Okay, is, it, is it harder for That's them? Crazy. Is, it, is it harder for him, though? Is it harder for him to play defense because of the air that he plays in? Drew Holiday. No. It, it, it actually is easier for him to play defense in this era. What's going on? What? So, so, offense, so offense is easier, easier hold on, and hold on, defense hold on. is easier. Reason, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The reason why it's easier for him to play oh. defense in this era is because you, in this era, is let the, the dribbles are cut down from what it used to be. Like what? you said, listen, 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 list
in the nineties, you would give it to a guy, he'd ISO and go to work most of the time. So now you're you having to defend that guy was a lot harder than you having to defend. Okay, now I'm driving, kicking, and now he we got to rotate. That's easier than I got to defend my guy, stay out of foul trouble while defending this guy. Because if you let, let me give you an example, if you had to put Drew Holiday on a guy like Ray Allen and one of them dudes for a whole game in their prime. That's oh, way this. different then. That's way different then than than it is now. And this no, it's, it's different, but it, like it's no, it's way harder. harder. No, it's way harder. It's way harder. You think like the zone defenses no. and like the hand? I think it's so think much harder for defenders. Come on, come on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do y'all think it was? Do y'all think it was harder? Do y'all think it was harder to guard Kobe Bryant back in the two thousands or or to guard LeBron James today? I think it's harder to guard LeBron today, bro. I think it's on Kobe. He's more on Kobe. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. You know why, Tiki? You know why, Tiki? You want to let him get away with this, dog? Tiki, you know why? You know why? You know, you know, you know, you know why, Tiki? Because if you if you if you blow on LeBron, it's a foul. I got I got I got to figure out a way to actually stop LeBron without actually getting physical with him, right? Nasty. Right? I ain't nasty. nasty. That's what you said. You nasty right? for that. You okay, nasty right. for that. Okay. All right, man. Say nasty that. For that. You're nasty for that. Bro. <laughs> I ain't nasty. That's what all you right, told all me. All right. I got another one. That's I got what you told one. me, though, right? Nah, you put that nasty. You blow these cats out there. This is a foul, man. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, it cooking. I just somebody, man. Take it cooking, but that's because I taught him basketball from Jimmy Two Shoes. Man, bro. Jimmy Two Shoes. <laughs> oh man, uh, low. Why were you trolling on Twitter yesterday? You were saying the nastiest trolls. nonsense. Also, who's your most improved players? Low's the, Low's the only dude y'all know that trolls Russell Westbrook. Low's the only dude y'all know that trolls Russell Westbrook's brother. Low was trolling. Low has been the dude that's trolled Ray Ray Westbrook. I'm not trolling. No, he came up there and started lying, saying that Stephen Adams averaged twenty and ten. You see this? This is this is hypocrisy. This is hypocrisy at his. He said he was averaging twenty and ten. Low gets mad. He was bugging. No, no, watch. No, no, watch what Dub is about to do. Watch what Dub is about to do because Dub is about to be nasty. Go ahead and be nasty, dog. You can't even get it off. You can't even get it off, dog. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and get it off. Go ahead and get it off. toxic, bro. I swear to God. Mad toxic. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, go to the other Super Chats, bro, because you trolling, bro. You're so toxic. I can't, I can't do it, dog, man. I was I was trolling yesterday, though. I was. Who is, who is the who is the most approved players, though? Laurie Markkinen. Laurie Markkinen. Laurie Markkinen. Jalen Brunson. That's a good uh, name, but I, I got marketing on. But that um, Brunson is what about, about Shay, too. That's I think that's a good one. Nah, he's been uh, like that. Shea, if you guys are watching, like I was trying to tell you been like over that. a year ago, on, he's been like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know if he's okay. uh, he's been know. like okay. that. Yeah, he's been like that. He's been like that. He's improved though. You got you, got you, got you. Put his, put his head on a spike <laughs> dub, hashtag dub nation on top. That's so crazy. He wasn't talking about what just happened though. I know. I know. To, take a fuse. Ticket fuse ain't even short. It's non-existent. Laughing emoji. Fire. Uh, Steph averaged 30, 30 plus in 2021 with zero spacing and a lot of G League players. In the playoffs, Steph always faces physical play. In 2022, his roster wasn't great. I do you agree. That play um, the, 20, the 2021 season, it wasn't that much spacing, and Curry still did that because Clay wasn't there in 2021 ticket, and he still played amazingly great. No, I'm saying, but right. you think this physical, bro? They really think, man, bloody no, boys, no, no, man. No, no. Okay, no, what, what he said, but but you agree though, right? In 2021, Clay Thompson wasn't there. There's actually a great year where Clay Thompson wasn't there. I, I mean, according to y'all, according to y'all, they had hundred million dollar man, so he should have been all right, right? That's not spacing. That's, 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 that's not spacing. That's not spacing. That ticket. Right. That goes to I'm yeah, saying, no. I'm saying. Spacing. I mean, ac according to y'all, according to y'all, he's a Hall of Famer, right? Because the defense is not spacing. Defense is not spacing though. No, I'm saying according to y'all, he's a, no, I'm saying according to y'all, hundred million dollar man, he's the he's the army, he's the army Swiss knife, right? Because the defense, okay. defense. Oh. Oh. ticket does Draymond space the floor. Oh hey man, with his backpack jump shot, yeah. Nah, I see that. I'm a dog, bro. I'm a dog, man. He said that. I said that. I'm a dog. Y'all was up here winning them man. Took a backpack jump shot. He spreads the floor and helps these guys. And we never said his floor space thing. We said his defense. Oh, I'm gonna put. Oh, I'm gonna pull your card. Don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was talking about 2016. 
And I was that's true. Too. Yeah, we're that's true. About, we're talking about 2021 though, right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, I had to check the temperature. I had to check the temperature low. I'll check your temperature, dog. He was he was out there with nobodies, and he was still great. Gotcha. Backpack gotcha. jump chat. Y'all keep saying nobody. Y'all are trifling, man. Take it. Both both players were going to a playoffs and losing. They weren't winning championships. With their who was time out? Who was going to the playoffs? Matter. Matter. Mike, what round? Hold on. I mean, I that's a, Mike. Mike and Curry. Mike and Curry. Mike Curry. Doesn't matter what round they lost. Mike was going. Mike was, going, Mike was in the Eastern Conference Finals, a game away from the NBA Finals, bro. Scotty was the reason why Mike and them lost that series. They'd have been in the NBA Finals if it wasn't for Scotty Simpson. Keep it a hundred. But you said the same <laughs> thing about um the Magic, right? I mean, no, Curry, no, 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 no. He's talking about Curry. No, no, no. He's talking about Curry. No, that's what I'm saying. Curry. You said the same thing about Curry, correct? <laughs> no, you talking about? You say, you say if, if Andrew Bogut had played, they would have beat the Clippers. No. Oh, that was in the first round, though. Oh, who they who they facing the second round? It was the no, they lost. They, they lost, lost in the first round. Made, okay, see, wait, 2014. They lost, okay, the okay, they lost to the Clippers in that first round. Who and seven, and they would have played OKC round two. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, okay, I maybe I got to use my stuff. Whatever, we can keep going. It's fine. Fire, fire, fire. Uh, so ticket undervalued Phil to overvalue MJ. Shake no, head. I didn't undervalue Phil. I told the truth. Who was Phil Jackson before he coached Michael Jordan? Who was Steve Kerr? Who was Steve Kerr before hold on, hold on. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. No, no. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is what I'm saying to you guys, though. Listen, hold on. This is what I'm saying. Hold on. With the, Steph Curry didn't – they wasn't going to the Eastern Conference Finals a game away from the NBA Finals. Yeah, because he, he Michael have, Jordan was hold on. Yeah. Michael Jordan was already a game away from the finals before Phil took over. Because he was okay. deeper into his career, that's why. But yes, but you're right. yeah, you're experienced. Wait, so ticket, so ticket. Doesn't. Answer the question though. Who who is Steve Kerr before Steph Curry? I mean, bro, it's okay, dog. He been he been in yeah. his <laughs> room. Right Oh, my man, my man, my man. You can say that. Listen, I'm not I, I'm not trying to really praise Steve Kerr like that. I told y'all I thought that Steph Curry would have won a chip. Well, Mark Jackson is the head coach. I, I just I thought you know. it would have looked different. I said I thought it would have looked different. I said I thought it would He wasn't even assistant. Like, out of Steve Kerr. I said, but I said I thought it would have looked different. Yeah, dog. Come on, dog. Yeah. No host. No no host. I, I can't let you guys talk. Man, no, no, no. no. We, we got to get on ticket. Ticket show got to go. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. 804 <laughs> ticket. <laughs> don't want smoke from 804G. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is. Who is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, is that that man? Not, that, oh, man that man look like, like a um. Oh, that was oh oh that was Daz Dillinger. No, no, that's somebody. <laughs> no, that's somebody, <laughs> that <was> somebody different. <laughs> Phil Jackson revolu revolutionized the game with the triangle offense. Michael Jordan was far more ball dominant. Oh, he did. What you call it? Did that? Phil Jackson. Text one of it. Text one of it. Text one of Get y'all get y'all stuff right. But the yeah. game was revolutionized by the triangle. Yeah. Fire fire. A second round exit versus the best record in NBA history. He tried history the triangle in the Knicks and it didn't though. work. He tried the triangle in the Knicks and it didn't work. Wait, out. what? What did he say? A second round exit versus the best record in NBA history is this big. No, I said, low. They they didn't have the best record in NBA history the following season. So you're still wrong, sir. Sorry. I don't even know what I don't even know what that's about. I don't, I don't know. Golden State Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors didn't have the yeah. best. They didn't have the best record. <laughs> Jesus. Kobe missed the playoffs the year. Phil was gone. Mm. Brian, that team had no shot. I'm not gonna lie. And, 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 Kobe, and Kobe, and Kobe, and Kobe, 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 yeah, Kobe, Kobe wasn't playing. Yeah. Uh, ticket, stay cooking these stat sheet merch. Using their own game against them, and they don't w, even know. W, w troll, W troll. You, that you is a good troll. That's a good troll. You that's only a fantastic enough. troll. That's a fantastic troll. Using their own game against. Them. Damn. What cooking. a ticket! What a ticket is just trolling us right now. He is. Uh, I believe he is. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. He's right. not trolling, y'all. He's not trolling. No, he's, he's just cooking. Trolling. I, I, I just heard the time. Dub, dub. No he's a dub. He was no clearly way. trolling. 50% no of the time. Ticket, have you been trolling? Just ticket, ticket. No ticket. way. No way, Ticket just laughed. No <laughs> ticket, ticket. Put the camera <laughs> on. Put the camera 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 on. Put the uh, <laughs> I do that right now. <laughs> oh, I can't guy, do that right now. This guy is crazy. Bro. I can't do that right now. Christopher <laughs> Deeds. Take oh, care man. more about it. That's a lead, yo. That's a lead right there. That's, that's fine. Sorry, ESPN narratives to talk and then talk an actual game. Maybe ESPN is a better name. I don't even. I don't even care for no ESPN. Keep going, bro. 
Oh my god, is ticket trolling me, bro? I'm so yeah, I'm actually, hey, low, time out, low, <laughs> hey, low, hey, low, hey, low, hey, low, hey, low, 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 you think I'm trolling low, low, go it's subscribe you, to my other channel, hey, hey, low, hey, low, low, go subscribe to my other channel. It's called uh, you know, world tour. It's called um, you can you can type in uh, this is ticket T H I Z ticket world tour, and it's gonna come up. Uh, I just changed the name of it, and so it's gonna come up. And when you see that, you'll see all the ladies that I see on an everyday basis, though. So you you'll see it. Wow, I'm, 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 Boy, should I met his only fan? <laughs> y'all make sure I subscribe to that channel too. You're right. You are trolling me. How do we talk? I'm not playing. Hey, I'm dead. <laughs> I, 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 I think you're serious. How do we talk? How do we talk? Hey, 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 come on, come on. You can go look at the right one. I agree with you. I'm pretty sure you do. Hey, low, hey, low, low. You're going to be trying to, hey, low. You're going to be trying to get where I'm at. Oh, Once man. you see those videos, dog, go oh, go to official. God. All you gotta do is type in official world tour. It's gonna come up on YouTube. Official world tour. That's the name of the channel. I've actually official world tour. I think I, yeah, ticket. I think I, I think I've seen ticket, it. Tickets right you now. See it right now. You see, you see, you see today. Now you I tell see, me. I see you up in. I see you up in DR hanging with the. Pop you see that in my country? You're in my country. Oh, get okay. Get okay. Get okay. Get okay. Oh, but a pusal, get boss. There's no way, bro. Read <laughs> these super chats, dog. Hey, loco, yo, hey, loco, yo, estoy aquí con una mami chula, tú sabes. Hello, man. No, Reedy, super chat. Hey, 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 dog, hey, dog. Hey, Doug, and I speak Spanish, too. Fire, bro. That is so fire, man. Let me That's the World Wide West. Up. Everywhere we go, we lose the World Wide mess. Jeez. Yes. Uh, tickets right. Now these players fire. built different. Iverson disrespected 40-year-old Mark Price in a game. Uh, Price called him a bitch and shot a three in his face. <laughs> Draymond called LeBron a bitch in that fight, two in game seven. Mm. 2010's built different. Hey, hey, Mar, hey, Mars, you need to go look at that channel too. That's gonna turn you to a man. You're gonna be a man. <laughs> Official world tour. Official world tour is the name of that channel, Mars. Make sure you go look at right now and look at the look, look at Shorty that's coming out, out the swimming pool. You're gonna say, oh man, dog. Mars, you're gonna instantly turn into a man. I promise. He, he can't be multiple years, it's one game or year. Look at low, low, look at low, low, looking right now. Low, get ready to go get the jerkers. Low is getting ready to go get the jerkers right now. He's subscribing everything. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Wade, wait 30, wait 30, 30 wins. Oh, wait 30 oh. wins before LBJ bounced first round four years. Yeah, LeBron also brought Chris Bosch with him, so that's just mm. terrible context. So Come on. Man. Greatest Kobe made Shaq's peak. D Wade made Shaq's peak. They never looked as great before or after. Great players make other players great. What? Kobe peak oh, with Kwame. I think he meant to say Shaq made D Wade's peak, not the other way around. Okay. I think just to make uh, that make sense. I think. Um, no, I disagree with that. But even then, that wasn't I even even say peak. Made, yeah. Yeah, 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 D Wade's peak. Yeah, was it wasn't Wade's peak. Yeah, yeah D Wade's peak was yeah. Shaq. Right? So LeBron that proves that proves a point that other great players don't. You know. <laughs> LeBron's peak, sit up bar, sit up Mars bars. Yes, I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Pray for Wiggins. His nah, that's a that's rumor. Crazy. I don't even yeah, know. That's that's not true. True. It's not true. It's not true. Yeah, we're not, we're not touching that, bro. That's that. Go, Golden State losing on the road again. Just for everyone. Mm. Take it. Take it. I took you from I Brian. Yeah. Uh, is there another Mars? Keep track of new super chats for me, please. Mm -hmm. All right. And be a top three player in the league, averaging 33 on good splits and great defense. Stop acting like he doesn't have a case. It ain't a sympathy sympathy MVP. I don't think it he's is. a top three player in the league, but it is good. a sympathy MVP. It is. Don't let Mars off the hook. He used athleticism to elevate MJ over Kobe, but has Steph over Kobe. Make it make sense. MJ athleticism is 10, Kobe a nine. Do you want me to get into that oh. for like 10 seconds? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, Kobe's peak, his athleticism had declined by that point. He was still a very good athlete. But the reason I have MJ over Kobe is because his athleticism, his defense, and his skill set overall was at a much higher level. Whereas I think Kobe's athleticism had declined. His defense had declined. And I think Steph's overall offensive game at that point. Back to my water analogy, Steph just had slightly more water. But if someone has Kobe's peak over Steph, I'm not going to argue because I think anywhere from 8 through 12 is kind of interchangeable. 
but there you go. That was about 12 seconds. Then not bad at all. Tickets not even close. MJ over Kobe any damn day. Oh. Random super chat. Uh, ticket having a nope. Oh, okay. Uh, ticket, I'm okay. 10 toes down with you on most stuff, even when you're wrong. Kobe does not have MJ's athleticism. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I googled, I googled, I googled, I googled the, I googled no, the verdict. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about the videos. Oh, Look it up. Watch it. That's what he means. Watch it. Kobe was Mike. Kobe was Mike in play style only and was slower, less quick with a small. That's a lie. That's a lie. Kobe was, Kobe was faster. But that's a lie. Even Mike could tell you that Kobe was, Kobe was way faster. Was Mike was fast in his early years, but Kobe was, Kobe was fast, bro. Hey. Go back and watch Kobe his 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 younger years. That hey, hey, Kobe was quick. He was in the pass lanes quick too. Great hands, all that stuff, bro. Kobe was a monster, man. It was way, it was way fast. Yes, I do know Kobe the has the worst. Cross the crossovers were thick. You even seen how he put Ben Wallace on the poster in the summer league before he, when he came in the league. That was the most nasty, disgustingest dunk on YouTube in the history of probably yeah. basketball. Level. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't Kobe? Didn't Kobe? Super chat. Didn't wait, wait. Didn't Kobe jump over a car? Ticket has woke as the greatest Duncan, but by his logic, Vince should be number one. I rock with you, Ticket, but this one shaking my uh, I think that I think that Dominique and Vince in a dunk off would be sick. It'd be uh, probably even. You'd have to Aaron look at that. Gordon even, bro. Dunks, go look at the dunks Dominique was doing, bro. In the dunk, that, hey, yo, it was sick. The dunks he was Aaron doing Aaron back Gordon, then. I'm talking about back Aaron then. I promise you. How how is Kobe? How is Kobe more athletic than just that? How is Kobe, different versions how is Kobe, of windmills? Like, hold up, Brody. Hold up, brother. How is Kobe more athletic than MJ when MJ won a dunk contest and Kobe oh did it? God, Yo, Jesus, Brock, he right. gave super chat. Hey, he's gonna super chat block his ass. He did this IQ of a fool. Like Dominique with long faces. Get him out of here. Send him back. Okay, greatest. I don't think he deserved the all defensive teams. There these dudes don't I, even know that Kobe Bryant won a slam dunk contest. Bro, get these dudes out of here, man. It's sad, bro. <laughs> this is the IQ of y'all viewers. Uh, uh, Doug. This is what y'all do to these dudes. Y'all dumb these dudes down with the foolishness y'all spew, man. Y'all sad, Tyrone, bro. Ty- we will never forget Tyrone Hill, man. Jordan averaged more free throw than LeBron. Tyrone Hill is great. Yeah, he, he attempted. <laughs> It, it, it is what it is. Cavs versus Knicks in the first round. Cavs, Who y'all got Cavs, and why? Cavs, Julius Randle. Julius Randle gets that defense. Oh. Cavs Cavs Julius, Julius Randle is trash. Julius Randle's dog shit. Hey, I can't say Cavs that. Cavs the dark horse. Cavs the dark horse in the championship. No, they're not. No, they're not. The dark horse. I'm telling you, they have no chance. So, no, not. if you say that, I, I, pr- I promise you, they do. I promise you, they don't. All right, we'll see. I just want Trey Young to get in Curry one on one. Ah, cool, cool, cool. No problem, no problem. Ticket is fighting for his life. Ticket always doing a one by one. <laughs> so to it. He's always got his back against the wall, but he always fights gracefully. Uh, Phil was coach in 1990 when they went to Game Seven. Yeah. Uh, this that was about the Bulls. Oh, wow. I forget. That's a good call. That is a good call, actually. Damn, that's a good call. We can just forget about it. Players at times make the coaches great. I think that's what Ticket was getting at. MJ was close to the finals. Kerr came into a plug and play system. Damn, how did I forget that? Wow. I don't know. Damn. I'm L- L- I'll give my because he, he's casual, right. Man. He's right. The year that L- LOL. The, the, the year that Ticket is talking about where they were one game away from making the finals was when Phil Jackson was coaching. I completely forgot about that. Mm. Spam legend of losing in the chat, please. My bad, my bad, chat. I, 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 I feel special information. I did, I did, I did fail at that. I did fail on that. That's crazy. That. Damn. Whippa. Whippa. Ticket, go? <laughs> <laughs> Whippa. That was crazy. Ticket nose ball. He just trolls when there it is, man. Yeah, t- Ticket trolls. I don't troll. Come on. I'm not yeah, trolling. Everything I say, I mean that. Stand on that. No, no, you've never, you've never, so there's never been a time you've trolled on here ever. No, I don't troll, I don't play, dog. I'm I'm not no kid, I don't play no game. (laughs) He said, he said, he said, (laughs) he's more black than MJ, man. He's (laughs) crazy, (laughs) crazy, but nah, man. You're what ticket, you're what, (laughs) bro? Listen, I play, boy. (laughs) 
Bob Jordan would have beat the uh, Pistons in 04. And which teams will get chips in the next five years? The Bucks, Milwaukee. I think, the, I, think the, I think the Bucks got two more. No, I got think. I think the Bucks got two of the next five. Milwaukee, Philly, um, Celtics. Phoenix, I disagree Phoenix, with Philly. I disagree with Philly because I think Philly's going to be dismantled after this this year. Yeah, but I have Philly winning it this year. No, they ain't getting yeah, past what? the Bucks. I don't think they no, beat the, the Bucks. Can beat them, dog. Yeah, I know. No, no, no one thinks they're beating the Bucks. But I had them. I have them winning. They're so. not beating the Cavs. Okay, be quiet. That's crazy. Be quiet. Are you a Cavs fan? That'll be a good nah. series. That'll be a, it's really a Phoenix fan. He's a Phoenix fan. Yeah, Cavs going home in a cool five. I'm they a Clippers cool fan. Cool no, you're, a fan. You're, you're a Phoenix fan. Uh, you're a Phoenix fan. Hey, I'm a hey. Fan. I got to I got to remind everybody to like the video. We got 1,100 people in here. We need the likes up. Appreciate y'all. Ticket versus the world is going to be right after this, man. So definitely tune into that. Thank you for everybody joining. Low ticket, Mars, Gabe, Dom, context, everybody that joined up. Appreciate y'all, bro. You guys have any final words before we head out? No. Uh, who's, who's, who's hosting on ticket? Light the beam. Y'all be easy. Take care. Light the beam. Light the beam. Oh, my goodness.